So, uh, welcome everybody. It is now time for the final day of the bootcamp watch party. Uh, there are only four competitors left in each division. We're down to like the final 12. Uh, tonight, in three hours, we're going to see who is our winner. We've got $35,000 worth of prizes coming out today. Uh, and what's pretty exciting is a lot of them are streaming. Uh, in the casual department, oh, we'll start with the pro. In the pro category, all four of the pros already played over eight hours today. Uh, and it looks like it's set in stone. They actually all ended their streams. So it looks like there's a very clear division between um, first, second, third, and fourth. Uh, it looks like Setsuko will be taking it unless something happens. I feel like if I was YBY, I would still try. It's 90 LP. It's like possible. He's streaming Wait, right he's now, lying. actually. Oh. Oh, yes. Yes, he's giving it a try. It's he's... still possible. It's just going to be very hard. He needs he to like trying. average a two. Yes. Okay. Wow, we, I just realized we didn't. Oh, because he's streaming on YouTube, so we don't have like the live indicator. Right. Okay. In the advanced category, this is very interesting. Uh, we have official Smiggle in fourth, and he messaged me earlier saying that he had to go back to his home region to do some stuff for uh, snapshots. Understandable. He said he felt like he was too far behind, so he'll bow out. We have Vic TFT in second place, not far behind. And um, I, I'm told that she was streaming, but she doesn't have her VODs enabled. So I'm not sure if she's done. Uh, could you check her match history and see if she's still playing? Checking. I know she was streaming earlier. She's in another region, so her time zones are different. She is playing. Oh, she, she is still playing. Okay. All right. And then we also have Saber, who skyrocketed to first place, climbing over 100 LP today. Uh, it looks like he ended his stream. Yeah, Did he said he, he, said he was going to sit. He was in HG in chat saying that he streamed, he climbed, he's just going to sit. Wow, look at this! He streamed himself climbing this much and we missed it. He top yeah. board seven games in a row. I mean, honestly, I, I respect it. Like, he, if he's tired and he plays, there's a high chance that he, like, plays and then, like, hands the win to somebody else. And he'd rather sit on, like, a very respectable seven top fours in a row performance. Mm hmm Okay. Uh, and then we have Ichun, who is still giving it a try. He's 104 LP, which is doable. There are three hours, which is enough to actually gain 200 LP if you were to play perfectly. Uh, in the casual department, it is a battle for Emerald 1. Can we take a look at Boogie Me? I saw she was streaming earlier. What did she end up sitting at? 24. Emerald 1, 24. Uh, that's honestly beatable. It's beatable. That's beatable. It's going to be close. Yeah, Custa's only Custa 40 LP behind. That's yeah, he's one, one game away. One game away. Custa is on a... Wait, look at this graph. <laughs> this is a heartbeat monitor. <laughs> yeah. Wait, but the crazy thing is Custa hasn't even take out an, taken his like secret weapon out tonight. His bowl of oh, spaghetti. Ooh, no pasta. He yet? might have another one prepared for today. Amazing. Okay. Yep. And it looks like he I, he's been streaming all day. So we'll see. And everybody in the casual department is basically streaming. Boogie Me was streaming until just now. Uh, she's probably satisfied. I wonder if she'll be watching and if she'll turn her stream on if uh Custa gets very close. Custa is the first place away. Okay, cool. So, uh, really quick, Froden, could you go ahead and click on the prizes again? Yes. Let's go ahead and remind everybody what's on the line. In the casual division, we are competing for $1,500 tonight. First place, $1,500, then $1,000. In the advanced, the winning player gets $2,000, followed by $1,200. Uh, and in the pro category, it's for $3,000 and $1,800, uh, which Wait, is pretty so high. Very high stakes solo queue matches. What were we saying, Reddits? Well, I thought it was 3,000k. <laughs> yeah, 3,000k. 3, uh -huh. uh, also worth mentioning that the way that we are giving out these prizes is in the form of gift subs uh, or whatever their platform's equivalent is if they're not streaming on Twitch. Uh, we thought that was more fun because then the viewers can get excited about you winning. Uh, cool. So let's go ahead and take a look at all the POVs. Do we, um, do we have anyone who's at the beginning of a game? Uh, oh, oh Moshi Moshi just logged off, I think it looks like. Unless they have the wrong just username. But uh, the per person that started the game is H. June and Custa. Custa's in a, in a game right now. Just started. All right. Let's watch Custa, because he might overtake first place. Okay. It's Sounds Pasta, good. man. Emerald 2, uh, ADLP. Yeah, he needs a second place to take first. Or to take first in the boot camp. Take the lead. Oh, man. Take the lead. Oh, actually, he he he's not Emerald 280. If you look at the top right, he's Emerald 47. Looks like he just took a bot four. Oh, okay. So now he's 80 LP behind. That's two <laughs> games back. Wait, does he have an add-on that shows people people's ranks on the right side? Oh, he does. Oh. I've never seen that. I feel like I'd get in my, in my own head if I saw that. Oh, I don't think he knows about the, the tech. 
What's the tag? What? Uh, you shouldn't combine the units until after the round starts, so you have more gold on your bench, so you can make decisions on if you want to go 10. Or just like, in general, you, have, you can make more decisions. Ah, oh. yeah. Pasta, oh, pasta. My. Oh. <laughs> Wait, he's prepared! He's Why adding, he, add he, he, he's, he's gathering the spirit bomb. He's assembling the weapons. Oh, he's actually in a really good spot here. Oh! Story Weaver? Right, Story Weaver goes hard here. He's got a Zoe. Okay. Oh, 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 wait, oh, oh he doesn't like it. What does he want? He might be thinking Jeweled Lotus is good. LDP. I hate LDP. I also hate LDP this set. It doesn't feel very good. And you get, like, owned positioning-wise. I mean, I think Long Distance Battles is still... It's, it's, it's definitely not, like, broken, but it's still solid. If you play, like, dual carries... Like, uh, I, I, I think the reason why is because uh, four costs aren't really duoed, and that's why a lot of people aren't do, doing them as often. But, like, Volibear Tristano is still, like, plenty good, for example. He should level here. Level here for Zoe. Okay, massive hindsight bias, but he would have had five Storm Reaver. Oh, it hurts. That's okay. Well, oh, he would have had four Storm Reaver if he took the Storm Reaver quest, and then there was the Zyra in the shop. Yeah, uh, but now he has two pals. Here. My guess is that he wants to play Yone, and... That's true. He, he might want to prioritize comfort zone. Yeah, he might just be sticking to his guns. Which is totally fine, especially like in a high-stakes solo queue match, you probably want to uh, do what is known to work rather than try to figure something out on the fly. In terms of flex play here, yeah, Star Waver Crest and then slam a Gargoyle. GG. Did he almost call a comp? Looks like he wanted to call it. Yeah. Yeah, he, he might just be thinking, I got the heavenly units into the Yone game. Oh, yeah, people in the chat are pointing out he skipped the Umbral augment, though. Oh, but when he plays Yone, he doesn't play... We saw yesterday, he doesn't play uh, Umbral. Oh? Faded? I mean, he knows how to play Faded. He's been playing a lot of Yone and Ophelia, so I mean, he's you, probably really happy about this. You could no, LDP. You, you could LDP Ash and uh, Ophelia. It's not that bad, especially because you get like, there's ways you can kind of make that actually pretty strong if you're willing to do like the shared AD between Ophelia and Ash. Oh, the game is also like pretty generous. Like, even people like Caitlyn just have a random small AP ratio. So if you were to link Ophelia and Sentry, it wouldn't be terrible. Yeah. Okay. Hear me out. Yep. Incredible faded technology. Okay. LDP set and Aphelios because set benches and gains AD every round. <laughs> okay, every I round, see. Every round, Aphelios gets like to drink like the sweat off of set's biceps to gain a little bit of power. Okay, but you, you would only be able to bench one person or squat one person because to LDP him, he has to be all the way to one side, right? Oh, you're right. Wait, that's actually... Dude. No, that's not true. You get a target dummy, he, and then uh, he can bunch the target dummy or ZZ Rock. You're right. Yeah. Oh, All right. This, this the rabbit hole goes way deep. <laughs> uh but yeah, I, I I think that he's probably gonna try to play into a faded line here. And I think it makes sense given what his spot is. He slams stone play, and then he has Rod to play around for Rage Blade. This is like way better than any other setup I think he was going for. There was um. There's a really interesting, uh, I don't know if you'd call it a bug abuse, but like a trick with LDP, where you can have LDP work on two units that aren't for, super far apart if you bench all the remaining units and let the game automatically put them in at the end of the round. I didn't know that. Uh, he but said it's like again. almost never useful. He said it again. So if you only have like Set and Aphelios, for example, uh, on the board, and then you have seven units that are just like ready to be put in and would assemble like the correct synergies, but they're on your board, then the game will automatically put them in, but Set and Aphelios will still maintain the LDP. Oh, Based yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember yeah. that. I remember. Okay, got it. I know what you're talking about. It's pretty, uh, that's, that's, pretty, that's, that's some dark tech. I like that. Okay, no bow, though. Goodbye, bow. So... Yeah, I think he was really hoping for a one cost bow that no one would want. I mean, uh, yeah. I think uh, Crown Guard is totally viable here. Oh? Yeah, I guess the only thing in his mind... A lot, a lot of people feel like in this spot, like, you don't want to like, give up half of your items. Then, let's say you get the bow, and then you're like, okay, well, I wish I had the rod. I'm surprised... Oh, I see what you mean. 
Uh, he's in a spot where if he wants to, he could play first streak. Um, something that Custa we haven't seen much of do, that we haven't seen do much of. He has not been uh, econing much. He always likes to hold a lot of options at the cost of econ. Yeah, and he's not even uh, see, he's I... not even like leveled, for example. That's how poor he is. Well, he could level and make ten still, but it's like yeah, it's not good. Okay, I I think I like this choice. Part of me feels like, or if I were in his spot, I would be like, oh, I kind of want to at least get a three streak. My board's looking pretty decent. If you level and play the Aphelios for Sniper, you could realistically get a three streak off this board. If he wins this, which it looks like he will, he, I feel like he should absolutely level, because winning the round is like plus three gold, arguably more if your streak continues. But maybe hold this uh, Shen. You've got Ghostly and Behemoth. I like oh. it. He didn't check his Ink Shadow, right? I don't know if he's even open to playing it because he's not even holding the Senna, for example. And Senna's like a much better sniper, I think, than uh, than Cog. Well, well, well. If it isn't Pasta oh, hello. Man, locked and loaded. I only know him as Pasta Man. I don't know. He, uh, he just unveiled his new emote on stream. Yes. It's, I think it's called Pasta, Pasta, Pasta. Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm a fan. He's generate, you know, that's what this boot camp does. It generates fans. I'm a fan for life now. He, he's such a fan, he doesn't even know who he yeah. is. He just calls him Pasta Man. That, that's, that's how deep the Sometimes that's runs. all you need, though. You know? <laughs> this is interesting. Yeah, the council was talking last night, and his strats might be too powerful. We're thinking about banning uh, food oh, from the no. next boot camp. Built different. Oh, this man. is so sad. Built different. Okay, so he had two choices. He could sell the allowing to make 20, or he could level to try for a streak. And then he did both and made 15. Sad. <laughs> I, um, I, I don't even mind the level, though, because he's trying to finish his stage two with a streak. So it's like he's actually trying to play like a fundamental uh, like line, like a good play. But he like contextually, he shouldn't have done that because because this person was way stronger. Oh, man, he picked LDP, huh? Yeah, yeah, it was a strange choice. Uh, he he wait, wasn't there an option that he had that we liked. Story Weaver. Story crossing. Weaver. Oh yeah, he had a uh, four story weaver if he took it, and then I think he doesn't know how to play the story weaver line, which is fine. Uh, if you only have a limited amount of time to learn the game, it is actually optimal to not be flexible. It is optimal to get good at one or two lines, and that is exactly what Custa is doing. He plays faded and he plays Yone. Yeah. So like, this is probably the higher placing move for him. I think Man. that's smart. I think those are the two best comps in the game. Yeah, uh, and he's also very close. Uh, Sage, in, in case you didn't hear, he's only like 35, 40 LP behind first place. I was just so. gonna say, yeah, I just checked. I was checking as he was fighting oh. the neutrals, and I was, I can't believe it. it's a really close. And then there's some, some big swings also, like uh, Setsuko's number one now. Yeah, Pro. I'm sure you guys talked about. It. Yeah, that's pretty wild. Yeah, he's uh, <laughs> that guy's an animal. Uh, YBY is trying, but I think the other guys gave up. So, yeah, I saw Asa is done. Yeah, Aces and Shen, he said, holy, these items are so bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, it's actually salvageable, right? Doesn't he just need a bow and then a damage item? Uh, damage item. Yeah, if he has, you have yeah. my bow, like next augment, <laughs> maybe. So Wait, this is really interesting. Uh, his Kog'Maw is still in love. Like, the Kog'Maw on the bench is in love with... Oh, it wore off. That's actually very normal. <laughs> yeah, it is a broken heart. <laughs> that, that is... The one okay, on the bench being three. still in love is usually how it works, actually. Yeah. Froden, I looked it up out of curiosity after you talked about it yesterday, but, uh, yeah. Uh, Warmox is a bad item. I yeah. thought it was really good. I thought it was, like, the ultimate flex item. Okay, are we selling? Selling? Mm, selling? Yeah, yeah, you would think so, but just um, it's just there's not a lot of good users of it, and it's just outmatched by other. Oh, I, oh, oh, wait, whoa, 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 let's think about this. Oh, I mean, he's probably thinking about tiny, oh. but the, huh? No, no, no. Oh? You can't take accomplice with LDP. It's gonna fuck with your positioning. You can't take it. It's it's normally good, but you can't take it here because LDP makes it too hard. I, I'm not sure if he realizes. Uh, it's gonna be yes. Oh, no. Uh, unless he Can does only frontline. If he does only frontline accomplice, it's fine. That's true. I, man, oh, he did not go for the augment. I'm sad. I'm sad. I'm pretty. I'm pretty yeah. sure. Uh, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure Baboom is actually like like the insane in Aphelios, isn't it? 
Oh, is uh, it? Like, isn't it actually like his now. best prismatic period? Am I missing something? I, yeah, but now he has tiny best now. friends. It is. It is. It is. It is. It is, it is the best augment period for him in a data. Wait. Can you explain to me why? I, I actually did not know. I because uh, I, don't think that he doesn't I mean cast. he basically it's 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 final ascension, but you don't have to wait fifteen seconds into the fight. You just wait for the guy. Yeah, and he is he going to be casting every three time. seconds from that point onward? Well, Asa is saying that that it's bugged or something. Oh, is that why? Oh, it's because of a bug and a fearless oh. ult counts as two casts, and that's the only reason why it's the best augment. Oh. Also, also tiny but deadly. I felt like it was such a good choice there too. Yeah, it's in general, a, it's, it's the strongest good, like yeah. generic prismatic combat. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I was just because the thing I, is I when, I, when I, I, I was only I was conditioned just to look at it after the second cast. I was like, holy shit, he's doing so much damage. I didn't yeah, realize I, I was like, doing I'm doing it both though. If he's playing faded with LDP and then accomplice and then also set positioning, like that sounds like a nightmare, dude. I I wouldn't put yourself through it. You just like tiny but deadly. Yeah, there's a boom. lot of like mental burden as you stack the positioning gimmicks. Yeah. Like just best friends, easy. But then it's like best friends and a support item, and yeah. uh, you're playing sage. Yeah. Yeah. Or like set. it gets very complicated very fast. You got a bowl of pasta in one hand. Like you're just there's no balancing all of that at once. Something yeah. has to get sacrificed. Yeah, like you take best friends and then you take a support item and then suddenly your best friend's always busy on the weekends, never wants to hang out. Yeah, and they got a kid, family. Yeah. Wait a minute, like what about the bro times? And then yeah. like, what are you guys talking? Wait, who are you talking about, Ray? <laughs> <laughs> who, who isn't he talking about, bro? You feel me? <laughs> That's what I'm no saying. No one in PFD is having a kid and family except for like two people. So I feel like he's talking about one of two people. Oh. Well, I didn't throw in the kid and family part. That was Sage Jam. Oh, 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 I mean, people in FGC definitely have family. Yeah, their sure. dad, their fathers now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, they're having, they're having grandchildren, bro. All the, uh, hold on. Although there is, um, there is a phenomenon where like all the fighting game fathers are like becoming like all of their children are girls, and they're like, "What's going on here? Like, is there oh, something about having wait, awesome. a joystick in your lap that like?" It changes your DNA so that your children are always daughters. <laughs> yes, the like, electrical waves. The electrical oh, waves, yeah. man. The hip hop. Yeah, that's <laughs> what's happening. Oh, man. Who knew, man? They're just all girl dads, like 12 of them. And they're like, wait a minute. This is not right. That'd be cool, though. Raise a generation of badass uh, female fighting game population. That'd be sick. It's time. Yeah, Evo yeah. 2036 is about to go crazy. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. Oh wow. wow! Wow! What a Level shot! Level six, what a shot. Orn Behemoth, uh, Orn Thresh, Tiny yeah. Orny, Tiny but hmm. Orny. I think you're supposed to itemize the Orn. <laughs> yeah, I uh -oh. think so, cause it's Thresh one, so you know. Yeah, it's Thresh one, Orn one. Like, if you had them in the same shop, Orn will print more items if you give them items. Damn. It's definitely it better now to itemize Orn for sure. Long term though, yeah. but you want to only itemize Orn if you like really have him as the faded because you you don't get the team buff otherwise on him you're, you're also more likely to hit thrush too first i guess but yeah yeah i mean the I mean, real the real low roll he doesn't have yasuo one because then uh oh yeah. yasuo one with these items is actually kind of op yeah who knew who to thunk yasuo with a stone plant is taking every board in stage four like he's just like what up guys yeah How goes that? <clears throat> I don't know if you guys have ever seen uh, True Bis Yasuo, which is three stone plates, but it is hilarious. That guy's vibing, yeah. Um, actually, True Bis Yasuo is uh -oh. three radiant gargoyle, whatever it's called. The trade is mm -hmm. just too strong. The units themselves aren't that good. Like, in fact, I would say that the units themselves are pretty bad uh, outside of Faded. Faded well, well so Yasuo, his, his, his ability is ridiculous, oh. so. Okay, if he really... It's probably worth it to pay for this, yeah. Fifty percent chance of a, of a bow, 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 bow. Wow. Ooh. No. That's really sad. I mean, you can take anti heal. Like Morello is fine. Yeah, yeah. Oh, son, yeah. son of Morello's on Kindred, and then Garbo Rod. Yeah, just like a yeah. That's pretty hard. I don't think I, you'll see it. I, think I feel like in this set, uh, Morello is so, like Rod is so useful in general in this set. But like, yeah, anytime you see a Morello as an option, it's like cool. All right, nice. Got it. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Oh, he's looking good. Oh, he's got oh, a gun blade. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh that oh. was. Oh. There were many choices, and that was not it. Yeah, I look, you don't think it's that terrible. I mean, Kindred's definitely better, it's, but like. It's an RE1. 
Uh, yeah. Well, also, like, they gave up our rod as he, he, well. He gave up his only chance at Rage Blade. Oh, it... wait, he didn't, he didn't take the other rod? He did take no, the other rod. he did, rod. and then yeah. he slammed the uh, Rabidons. He, he needed to slam the like, Rabidons? <laughs> yeah. 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 I wait, thought he said Morello. It's not that bad. And it's like... Oh, oh no, I thought Morello did everything wrong good, there. Yeah. Oh, I, thought you, I thought you were freaking out because he slammed Morello on Ari instead of Kindred, but he slammed the Death Cap? Oh, yeah. never mind. That's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, he loses his ability to get Gwinsu's, and yeah. it's just not the right item. It's not going to do much for him. My yeah. bad. I need to put my glasses on. Also, like, there was only one more round. Like, it was, yeah. it was better to slam nothing at all. Uh oh. He's probably and thinking, he was... I'll just start making Syndra items. Yeah, and he's level six, and, like, he doesn't have pairs or anything. You're, you're probably losing there anyway. Like, it's fine. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, how can he salvage this? He needs to go seven and then just, like, hit two stars. He is on Thresh 2, or Thresh pair, Aphelios pair, Kindred pair. Yeah. Man, and he has no Yasuo. Now, if he gets a bow, he'll be so sad. Yeah! yeah. Oh, okay, he gets red buff. Oh, gets, that's actually really good. Oh. Yeah, red buff's good. Red buff's yeah. very yeah. good. And, and he, he has... knew he was going to get red buff, that's why he didn't build Morellos. And oh, he has so uh, attack speed from Tiny but Deadly, so like, it's actually kind of good. <gasps> Don't um, grab that belt, man. Okay. Wait, no. Put the belt down. The red buff <laughs> is know. fine. And red buff. And red, the red buff. red buff is fine. Red buff, sick. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. 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 Nice. Yeah, he did it. <laughs> All right. Uh, I would honestly just full reforge this red bit on. Well, maybe he hits Syndra. Yeah. Th Death Cap is actually really good on Syndra. It's just usually hard to get multiple rods because you're usually slamming Rage Blade and other things. Yeah. I like it. She'll need a way to cast, so she'll need a Nashers. Or a blue buff. Or an adaptive. Yeah. I mean, we still need third item tank and Aphelios as well, so... Oh. Actually, he should not summon adaptive here. There's like a... There's like a weird interaction with adaptive if you have too much... Like, other attack speed, like from Tiny but Deadly. It's gonna yeah, create a situation yeah. where Syndra will like, attack oh. and gain 10 mana at the same time. And then she'll like, bug out. Oh my god, Faded oh, Crown. Oh, oh. Oh my Wait, god. Wait, is he gonna take Call to Chaos? Please don't. Uh, it should be Faded Crown. Yeah, it should Faded be Crown, Crown is but... such a bailout. Yeah. It, it absolutely is Faded Crown. It's so good with LDP. You yeah, need the seven close. Faded. Yeah. He just reforged the Sunfire? Yeah, exactly. Whoa, no, 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 no. Oh. Nah, he, just, he, he, he knows, he knows, he knows. His mouse going anywhere else is so stressful. I'm just like, oh, oh, oh. Wait, no, he's, wait. he's thinking about it for a while. Like, he needs to level and roll for one yeah, push. Yeah, he needs yeah. time to roll, which is the big thing. Wait, have you guys ever looked at the faded emblem and it looks like a pretzel and you get hungry? Oh, it kind of <laughs> does. It kind of uh... does look like a pretzel. Okay. No, it, it oh, may oh, look awesome. awesome. <laughs> Yeah. And, um, and Ash, and Ash. Oh, no, long oh, distance pals, long distance pals, long distance pals. Oh, Your Aphelios man. is not oh, in love! Oh, he doesn't know, he doesn't know, he doesn't know. Oh, he's got a Syndra. Syndra. Syndra, Syndra, Syndra okay, well, yeah. he has seven faded now. Yeah, he's probably, he's probably fine. Okay, reforge the Sunfire. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, he for gore. Okay. Oh. Nah, it's okay, actually okay, actually, because he's going to hit yeah. Orn 2 and then replace it, and then he can put two items on Orn and then reforge. So he's actually playing best board right now. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, I was we're just looking at a Syndra. Or, well, no, what, Sandra. Oh, what if he looked into the future and if he reforges the Sunfire, it becomes a Morello, and that's worse, so. He's super contested. The guy he just faced faded. All right, you need to rebuild your, your Ari, move the Death Cap. This looks pretty right. good to me. Fix your LDP. Yeah, LDP situation. Okay, okay he, he okay, sees okay. it. Rebuild, rebuild your Ari, rebuild your Ari. Oh, he's doing it. Nice. Nice. Okay, I, I can get behind this. This looks pretty good. And then he can still, yeah. Uh, um, I hope he sees it. He needs to, he's very contested, so he needs to just try to go nine. Yeah. I need but deadly always makes me think the board is way weaker That's than it is. Three. Yeah, yeah. The, oh, oh. A ghostly th a thresh ghostly. three. Wait, wait, wait. Is it, it from <laughs> Call the Chaos? It's from it Call the Chaos. It's called the Chaos Thresh three. So that's oh, why he didn't see man. a single Thresh. Oh. He needs to wait, notice ghostly it. Ghostly Thresh? That's canon. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, you just eventually get a Thresh 2, it's all good. Uh, and then you just attempt 9. Very, very winnable situation, as long as he's, like, aware. Yeah, oh, okay, so we cannot be win anyways. Hard. Yeah, we cannot be rerolling here, Wait. you gotta just go. Look at the Faded units just not dying, by the way, they just don't die. 
Yeah. Yeah. Right. So yeah. seven faded gives a very large amount of stats, and that oh, but yeah, it, it gives a very large amount of stats, and then it they share it. The LDP. Yeah. So uh, Syndra and Aphelios are both tanks now. Yeah. There yeah, is yeah. a set and a spat. Yeah. He's not gonna get set, is he? There's no way. Yeah. Yeah. There's no way. Uh, belt. Our bow is really good here. Bow is really good. Yeah. Yep. Nice. Just slam that yeah, immediately. Nash's is definitely better than Adaptive Helm here. So that's pretty good. Cinder will just be like perma fast attacking. She'd be blasting. Okay. Well, uh. Wait, no, it's, not, it's not going on a Felios. Yeah. Like, what if you just reforge the belt? Fuck it. I mean, you could. His opponent's doing the trash to treasure reforge. I'm so dizzy. Does anyone hear a very far box box? Yeah, wait, is he in like a... What trash or treasure is? A yeah, he's LDP'd right now, so he's LDP'd. Yeah, he's <laughs> LDP'd. <laughs> <Yeah, he's> LDP. <laughs> Long distance Annie. commentator. Yeah, yeah. Wait, how, do, <laughs> how do we even hear him that far away? Tell him about the trick! Tell him about the trick. Oh, oh, uh, according to box box, you can do something pretty nifty, which is... You could uh, do an, a long distance pals and then keep units on the bench and then let the timer automatically field them. So you can actually like have long distance pals uh, position manipulated. All right, I got you box box. Okay, so the trash to treasure, I got you. The trash to treasure yeah. tip. So basically it allows, it's an augment that allows you to reforge your full items into random orn items. Oh, 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 and, oh, and, oh, I know, treasure, treasure chip, okay, gotcha. Yeah, so when you reforge an item, your reforger has unlimited uses. However, if you reforge an orn item, it gets exhausted and you can't reforge anymore. But mm -hmm. there is a way around it. Um, if you get an orn item you don't like, you could reforge that orn item alongside a regular full item, and then it'll reforge the orn item and keep the remover and then change the other one to an orn item as well. So, like, you reforge one item at a time, and if you don't like the orn item, then you reforge it with your next item. And that way you have multiple chances of curating what orn items you want. Yeah. I, I, it's really like neat. High a I don't know if high APM, but like high intensity. Yeah. You gotta make it you definitely need a second to sit there and like consider and then reforge again and then think about it and then make sure you don't mess it up and then yeah. I like it. There are very few situations where um I would say like I wish or like I wish I had two brains. But trash treasure would be one of them. So we're like, you don't of often think, think an additional brain would be useful in your life. Like you thought about this and you're like, <laughs> I don't need it. Well, I mean, there are some situations where there's like too many chefs in the kitchen where uh, you don't gain much by having like another person there. But one time, oh one my time God, Asa is... was oh. coaching me and we had a very complicated like 11 item oh level oh. 9 roll down with 50 gold at one life situation. And mm. Asa said the smartest thing I've ever seen. Okay. The smartest optimization ever. He was like, you think about the items, and I'll think about the roll down. And then wow. it was like, holy shit, we actually just did like, in 30 seconds, we did an inhuman amount of operations because we like split up the, the mental stack of the you know, roll nine roll down. Yeah, I think, you know, I thought about this too, because you know, there's a game, uh, uh, it's like called Chess Showdown. And the uh -huh. way the game works is like, you play chess, and then when the pieces go to take the other piece, it's a fighting game. Have you seen oh, I've that? seen that. I've seen that game. Oh, I haven't I seen saw, this. I saw like Northern Lion was playing it, and I was like, man, I'm terrible at chess. But if he wants me to play Don't the roll. fighting. No, he doesn't know. Oh, no. He's he like, know there's, there's like three, three people. Isn't there like three no, people? He, know, he knows there's a thresh tree. He knows there's a thresh tree. Okay. okay. Boom. Oh, there's there's rolling. Why are you rolling? He's rolling for We're a field. There's three. There's no way there's so many out. There's oh, like, no. This, isn't he like double contested? Just go. Box, box. He oh. gets the roll down, you think about the items, bro. <laughs> yeah, you think about the items. You got I'll, this, I'll think though. about the items. <laughs> oh, he's got to get oh no, the rod! The rod stay oh, at home, the rod stay at home. Yeah, the rod is... Oh, the rod stay at home. something while you're waiting. You got this. Re Redemption, I guess? Oh, you gotta oh, reforge God, something for the game. Right? He's like, where's my rod? Yeah. <laughs> where's uh... my rod? <laughs> oh, there's oh. the rod. Oh, 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 slam... Yeah, there it is. I mean, it's Slam the rod, slam the Quincy's. Okay. That's a game losing, well, a round losing bug. Yeah, yeah which can be actually, a game yeah. losing bug. Uh, he, he oh, 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 win anyways, oh, win oh, anyways. Oh. Syndra! Syndra? Oh, oh my that was redemption dude. diff. If you slam redemption. Yeah, if he slam redemption, he would also Or if the Ginsu's, yeah, if the rod is on his board. Man, oh. Yeah, it's a, it's a bug where if you grab, if you choose your component, like, as the stage is transitioning, 
the component starts on your old board and then travels all the way to the new board and you have to wait the travel time which is a random amount of time based on which board you traveled to yeah man i'm getting more bugged again lot. yeah you can try to even delay it sometimes and then you're, you're like slightly wrong and then you're like no <laughs> where is it I mean, that was Box Box's fault because he was in charge of the item, so. I know. <laughs> oh Box Box, man, you really gotta be faster well, yeah, on the game with that. this, man. He should have slammed two tank items. We don't even have a Cinder 2. I mean. Yeah. Oh, oh. okay. If he hits, he's just the best. Pocket Thresh hits, 3? He's the best player in the world. Horn 2 is a really big hit if you can get it. Oh, oh. oh another Cinder. I mean, but he's, he's so close to Thresh, thresh 3. You should sell Thresh and Yasuo. Yeah. I think so. Oh, I can wait and see how the round goes, and then I'll play South Thrash, but... Oh my, look at this guy's board he's against. Uh, oh, yikes. god. Okay, Custom but it's a bad a tattoo. An item. He he's not using going to watch his own fight because he knows he lost. Yeah. This is the Thrash 3, by the way. Yeah. Man, what don't are we lock. keeping our items don't on the bench for? Don't, don't lock. No! What? What? Oh, you still, still believe in Thresh 3? Bear. He still you wants to go still for Thresh. You still believe in it. It's literally impossible. Yeah, he just fought it. There's only 17 Threshes in the game. Oh. Yeah, but that guy, oh, oh, no. that guy could die. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, sorry, yes. oh. oh, he could sell his Yasuo instead. He didn't see it. He didn't, yeah. Oh, oh no. Huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. shit. Oh, yeah, okay, what? Okay, okay, okay. Wow, okay. I mean, he's cooking. Oh, oh I... that's that's box box he... the items. <laughs> yep. Does he know about bag sizes? Because the moment you see that thresh three, you I have stars, to give up. It's literally impossible without I... like Maybe... five duplicators. Yeah. Maybe he's just so locked in he doesn't see his enemy's boards. He only sees his board. Yeah, that's true. It's like it, why uh, watch someone else kick a bag a thousand times when you could do that? You know. Yeah. Like, let me just go kick my own bag, and then that's if... what he's doing. Yeah, you never want to focus on someone else's bags. Yeah. Low key, if he wins this fight, it's tough horrible though. Like so. Yeah. It's tough horrible. And There's that's no all we need to do horrible. to stay in it. Oh. It's tough horrible. It's it's fiveable. Thresh on Thresh on, well. Thresh on the carousel. Thresh on the carousel. And Thresh on the carousel. Oh, and it's an even shroud. Let's go. Oh, set. set with an even shroud here is pretty that's nice. That's pretty good. Pretty nice. Very nice. Right. And now he can, uh, I mean, set's really big, not just even to improve the board, uh, but also now he gets set and th uh, Thresh, which is just Oh, better. that's actually a huge synergy because... Um, He's also just big. True. Well, uh, no, once you get the life steal, it's over Yasuo. Once you get the Omni Vamp in, I... your LDP'd Aphelios Syndra will actually go very hard. Orn probably wants this, actually. Yeah, he Wait, what do you... that's fine. What do you guys think um, in the future when Seth's in a new set? What exercise do you think he's going to do? We've had him do sit-ups and now squats. I mean, push-ups are the pretty obvious one next, right? Push-ups would be cool. Yeah. What if What if he he did pull-ups? Like he hung off the edge of the board and he just pulled himself up. Oh, oh I like sick. it. I like it. I like it. Wait. Like wait, 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 when he's about to die, he falls off the board and does a pull-up? Yeah, because like, you see on the left right side now? of the board, there's like a thing he can hang off. Like you can just hang Brody, off. can you unmute him? Oh, what is he saying? How do you lose this game? How did you throw <laughs> this game? So <laughs> he's flaming. He's blaming himself. He's blaming himself. But he didn't throw. He he won this fight. It's top five. He's How he's he's, he's top four. Game? He's gonna top four, I think. He's on track to do it. He even can get third. It's it's now matchmaking, which is like really painful to go through. But like you know, it's possible. Oh, he's got a lot of people um, in this pool though. Does he have the ghostly guy back in the pool? The one with thrust tree? That guy thrust okay. him. Two options. One, he could level to eight, or like attempt eight, sell the Aphelioses, put in Ash. Or two, he could roll for three Aphelioses. It's honestly possible. Contester's dead. Yeah. Really, man? Dude, he, he needs he nine flaming? gold. <laughs> it's possible. He has to roll. He has to hit it in two rolls or less. Oh, sorry. I meant next round. Oh, 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 oh you're saying oh, after oh, the oh. creeps, right? Yeah. 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 Do you I think mean, he even was that's... flaming the level 9 guy he just killed, or do you think he was flaming himself? Yeah, my, my, my chat is saying that he was flaming the guy he was playing. Yeah. Okay. Or the person that they were playing. That's my read, because generally, how often are you going to flame yourself, you know? You're, like, almost always going to be, like, my opponent. I flame myself in the mirror every day. Oh, yeah, I, I flame yeah, the well. shit. Top four, baby. Wow. Top four. Wow. Top four. Wow. 
I okay. mean, I think this is a third. And actually, if he has really good, if he has the cleanest matchmaking, it's actually low key a second. He Do you can't think fight he's gonna the ghost guy. Three now. It's actually like a potential win out if he hits it. it unbeatable if he lives three at this point. He's gonna roll down for Thrax three as well. He should roll. He should roll. He should roll. There, there, his board doesn't get better by upgrade by leveling. He only up, yeah. he only gets Ash. better. Like, would you rather have Sniper or Aphelios three? I guess. Yeah, but Ash is guaranteed. Is the issue. So is Aphelios three, bro. He just hits the D key, and then there <laughs> he is. Like, you have to understand. Sell stuff. Sell the the awesome oh. stuff. Oh. How about right. rolls, of rolls with twenty? Roll with twenty eight. Roll with twenty eight, and then decide. Bramble's really good here. Shiv. Anything. I like adaptive yeah. hell on shell on order. To roll anything. It's time to roll. Yeah, I yeah. Agree with roll down to Go. twenty and see if it looks good, and then otherwise level. Yeah, roll down roll. to twenty eight. Or just oh. level and do it. Okay, okay. Right. Ooh, Lissandra's tempting, but probably not. Well, yeah, I like this play because if he levels to eight and then rolls once, there's a chance there's two sets in the shop. <laughs> And he has exactly wait, enough to this buy. Is actually, this, this is one of the. This is one of the. Oh wait, he can actually top two. Kenny, this board looks so scary. Third item for set. Last whisper. Oh, that's not a good one. <laughs> what no, if he goes no. back down and murders? Trust me, LDP. Oh, LDP, I feel this syndrome. They're invincible, oh. though. I still. Erm. Um, I don't think they're invincible. Orm. Wait a second. I, I think invincible. we really needed shit for this matchup. Unfortunately, syndrome got stuck. Yeah. Edge. He lost to a guy I mean, named Aw oh, Crap. Good. This this was an bad. insane salvage, considering the circumstances. Sometimes somebody calls the chaos and hits the three star of the unit you were looking for. 90 and, uh, it's just over. LP. I mean he's, he's not like very, a good place away. Yeah, he's not very far behind now, yeah, because I don't know if has Boogie played another game. Two hours ago was the last game, so maybe maybe Boogie's sitting. I don't know. Yeah, can, can we check out YB? Yeah, why, YBY is down a lot of LP today, huh? Oh, but back to 1094. He's back to 1094. Oh, wait. Let's hit, let's hit oh, live. The... Oh, he's about to start oh, a new game. New game. Mm. Let's watch. Let's learn from Vietnam rank one. YBY, I mean, looks like he's going like bot four a lot today. Yeah, he... he's down a bit. He is back to 1094 though, and Satsuko's. I think he's sitting, right? He's out. Yeah, I think Satsuko's sitting. sitting. Damn, he climbed so much though. Wait, if YBY gets a first place here, he's already there. Yeah, but maybe Satsuko just sits until he until he sees that. Hmm. Wait, what? What's uh, Satsuko's LP? 1140, I think. Uh, he might not gain that for a first YB. 1140, yeah. He's he's like 50 behind. Wait, hello? What's up? Oh, hello. I, I would like to say that it's pronounced Setsuko. Uh, Setsuko? He's, he's gaming over there. Yeah, he is. Thank you, SF. I appreciate your insight. <laughs> oh, Asa, how was your, uh, your journey today? I know you said um, it was too far away, so you would stop, but like, how were the games? What, what do you notice at the top end of the ladder? Anything cool? Um... I think the meta is a lot more narrow at the top end because I, I noticed like in the past like week or so you see kind of a lot of the units being played but uh, at the top end like most people only play around like the three the three openers like either um faded ghosts or story, story weaver fortune is I see like if you don't have one of the, the other ones Jonah sorry for four opener openers <laughs> wait uh do we like this trainer or no not not really. really. Not like this trainer. I think well, I played this, just this exact friends? trainer one time and I went eighth and I hit everything. I hit everything and I went eighth. <laughs> what, really? Because I played this exact trainer and I went first. Well, two of the ones match Orn specifically. Yeah, True. Nice, you just I play guess. Orn and a random oh, you... Recon. Oh, you can play Orn reroll. Or. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, uh, Orn, Azir, Janna lines up very yeah. well here, but like the path to get there is very awkward. Dryad just doesn't seem like a very good trait. It's not very good. I do think that one thing you, I, I feel like a lot of times this baits you into rerolling. I think you should just kind of play like standard. And unless you get like a lot of NARS or something like that, you should just play like a straight up board and just exactly what Asa said, just like treat it as like a way to activate Orn and stuff like that late game. 
Yeah. Oh, Stars Are Born might change that. Okay, no. He oh, goes buried treasures. It. Oh, wow. He hits four dryad. Yeah. Titans, Nar pair. I think he's I gonna like he reroll Nar. He's, he needs 10, right? He has two Nars now. I, I would reroll from this spot. Yeah, this this, yeah. Could, this could be reroll. This could be reroll. Two Nars, two Kindreds, and like decent economy. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, a Kabuku. <laughs> so. The Nar build is so interesting because he like gains stats for being hit, which means he's like a useless unit with no items, and he's a god unit at three items, three star. With Dryad. I love that, I love that the team planner is Orn, by the way. It's just Orn. <laughs> That's yeah, the team. The team is literally Orn plus Orn. Wait, look at this one. Heavenly plus Umbral. That's kind of nice. Wow. Yeah. Mm. You got a plan uh, pretty easily there. Pretty easy to play Yoni from that spot. Yeah. Yes, sir. Wait, did he scout the other trainers? I don't think so, right? I think he was just figuring out his spot. We, we haven't really seen the other boards. Uh, not the other trainers, no. He also lost his fight, which sucks. He tried Damn, to tempo. Yeah. And then if he doesn't hit Nar too early, he can do like a really unfortunate like, win-loss win and his economy's in a bad spot. Man, mm -hmm. a bully bear with a tattoo on... Okay. What if he goes five? Okay. Oh, Half of a BT. <laughs> what if he goes five? After a loss, yeah, I don't know about that one. Box, box, man. Oh my. <laughs> if he goes like... five, he loses on the spot, I think. Oh. Or rather, if, he goes, really five, cool. I mean, if he goes five and wins <laughs> and then loses afterwards, he loses on the spot. Yes. I mean, I, if you yeah, go yeah. five and don't streak, it's over. I agree. I love the way Box, box suggests going five and then Frodo just says, you lose. And Box, like, hmm, I should consider that. Like, <laughs> he was oh, like, God. I had that in the notebook. Are we contesting? Boys, guys, try no, it. No, we're not. We're not. No, that pers this person's. Nah, they're okay. Actually, this person's going A. What is this? Dryad Bruiser and that's a Rex I reroll. Rex I reroll. Okay, yeah, wait, that's, that's unfortunate. Cooking. I don't know. By the way, did you guys see the donation that he got earlier? It was 10,000 something. Uh, is that I, a lot? Ten, it was a 10,000 dollars. I, I think it, yeah, I think it's his local currency. How many dollars is that? Uh, sell the Rex I. Oh, I'm sure he knows. 10,000. Oh what? The USD. Dong. Holy. To USD. Oh no! Yeah, that's Rex size better. That is better. that's forty cents. For yeah, that's it's forty cents USD. He's rich. Wait, for forty cents you can get a notification and a giant message on the screen for. Yeah, I was seconds. gonna say that notification was huge. It yeah, but long like, and large. The 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 standard of living is different in Vietnam than it is in the U.S. Not everything costs like seventeen dollars for avocado toast. Uh -huh. Oh, that avocado fabulous. toast really is a pick me up in the morning. I'll tell you what. <laughs> By the way, I think the guy he just fought his uh, I think his trainer is very good for Story Weaver. Because normally you play one out two Arcness, and a lot of times you'll play like three out four Bruisers. <laughs> oh, I see, and... I see. I like that. I like that. I like that. Did you guys see that? He just like looks back at the team planner. Orn. Orn. <laughs> yeah, he's just it's to like make the Wolverine sure. meme. Yeah, still there. Like it's it's just yeah. the Wolverine meme of him staring the at The Wolverine like, meme. <laughs> he's manifesting it. Yeah. He's, he's just, just laying in bed, staring at the picture yeah. frame. Yeah, Wait. his his buried treasure gave him cloak, uh Was it really Tierra. so kindred? I mean, maybe he's like Asa. Maybe he thinks Kindred is the worst unit in the game. But if you're going to reroll Nar, I, shouldn't you just reroll like Kindred as well? When Dan was saying Dryad is a bad trade, I don't think Dryad is a bad trade. I think it's only Kindred holding him back. I think all the other units, like if Kindred were better, I think Dryad would be fine. Yeah, Kindred Wait, but better. That's because the Dryad units are good, not Dryad the trait is that good. Uh, I mean, I think Kindred. the trait's okay. Like the stats it gives is pretty comparable to a lot of the other traits. Uh, but not okay. enough for you to kind of build it as one of your primary game plans. Kind well, of... I think it's only because Kindred has a unit. I, I haven't looked at the patch notes for now. Kindred do it's, not it's listen. Too, it's too slow on the uptick because it's a ramping trade that you need to invest oh! a lot into. Okay, it's time. It's time. Um, missed Kindred Tail. So, oh, okay. question That's here. Huge. This is so big. You're already on a three loss streak. Should you just commit to the loss streak or do you think just like, I'm strong now, let's start winning? Oh, he's selling. Uh, uh, I mean, you definitely play the Nar to kill units, but I don't think you'd level here, right? Yeah, you can you yeah, can wait you can wait set. and evaluate because yeah. there's also an encounter yeah. next turn, so you never know if that changes anything. Okay, what? I'm down to bet ten dollars that the encounter involves working out. Okay, all right, I will take it. <laughs> it's just it's just yeah. good. Wait, wait, wait. I'll question. Bet 10, question. I'll take it to Vietnam themes. 
Does Dumb. Sivir count as working out? No, no let's get just speedy. He's just counting the set, setting counter. Yeah, but like it getting, you know, being faster, that's like cardio, right? Isn't that? Mm, well, I you mean, get faster, but you that doesn't mean you have this is moved a yet. Loss. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I think this is probably like an it's item one. Like he just oh. offers him an item. It's going to be, um, I'm going to say it's uh, Cho'Gath. Oh, no, they're Ooh, going like to the center. Level. Oh, oh, Ari kiss. Oh, oh, recombine. Oh. Recombine. Recombine. This is so sad. Anyone oh. who's playing flex just wins. I mean, this is one yeah. ring trainer who's playing flex. Yeah, and it's stage like, two. Like, 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 no one has any expensive units in stage two oh, yet, right? Yeah, this is a That's what you think. That's what you think. Someone has a four cost. Way. Instant Lissandra. A tip for this portal is if you have a bench, you should usually just put your bench in a recombob since if you have five units, that's basically five gold, and then you get two two removers, which is worth like five more gold. What? Oh, oh that is so smart. Wait, I did not think about that. Man, and that's why they pay you the big bucks. Well, Wait, assuming you don't want to pay him 10,000 dong. Yeah. Wait, so that one's just like a trick question. It's like, are you a noob or do you know? Well, yeah. I, mean, well I, mean, I didn't he, know. Like, he can't recombob his bench here. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and also, uh, uh, <laughs> how do you know it's recombob coming up? You can't just be like, I'm going to hold this for recombob. But it, that, that is really cool, though. I, I, that is a really good tip. A crazy thing that I see that happens a very surprising amount of the time is something that changes the augment order. And like, there's like a late augment, which leads yeah. to like a late recombob, which means anyone who's ruling through costs get a three-star four cost. Oh, yeah. I've seen that. I haven't seen that yet, but that, yeah. You like, know what I have seen though? I imagine that happening. Yeah. Lilia moved all my augments around, and my first augment on two one, I took the um. The one where um you go to level six instantly, but you can't choose your next augments, and then on two three there was another augment, and I, yeah, <laughs> I just couldn't choose it. Um, <laughs> yeah, but you were level six though. I was level six. You were level six. <laughs> Okay, so just to set the stage here while we're waiting for the creep round, YBY1 is Vietnam's rank 1. He went third place at Worlds in uh, set 8, I believe, mm -hmm. according to Froden. And uh, he's, he's regularly placed second in Box Box Bootcamp. I believe last time he lost to Dish Soap? Setsuko. Setsuko. Setsuko, okay. It's and, like a rivalry. Uh, this time, it's to Setsuko, but he's only Again. 46 LP behind. Ooh, there's an R. He's only 46 LP behind, and he has enough time for three games. Maybe four, if it's fast. If he hits his no Oh, actually, you sh this is a spot where you can play Kindred. You can go blue buff. The, the problem with Kindred isn't that Kindred's actually... I, I actually don't even think Kindred's three is that bad if you're able to set up around her. The problem is that um, uh, you can't hit Kindred very reliably. A lot no. of faded players go for Wait, it. Wait, he's got 200,000. Like that. Oh, 200, that's like dong. 80 set. Wait, no. That's like $8. What? That's what I'm talking about. Wait, Shoujin, Archangel. Patch preview somewhere? Is that Mordok's better? He's playing that for so uh, playing for Azir. Playing for Azir. Play, playing for Azir. Playing for Azir. Oh! Wow, that is some foresight. I would have just slammed blue buff Gunblade on Kindred right now. So he's not rerolling, or is he is he rerolling and hoping he... He has to reroll. He's got BT time. We may have found the one guy on ladder who hates Kindred more than Asa. No, I would never <laughs> put items on Kindred. Just like... Okay, I mean, like, I might, but you know what I mean? You wouldn't even change your items oh, by putting them on vintage. the unit. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I would take... Wait, really? Vintage. Asa, I played a game today with Kindred and she popped oh, off. All I, all I all I had was Kindred oh, 3, 7 had Oh my god, reaper. it's a fine vintage pivot. There's no way! I mean, I, I would always take this under any circumstance on 3-2. Wait, over Featherweights? I would always take this under any circumstance. Kindred, Kindred's on the board, like... Yeah, you know. but that's big, I, but you're also a high roller. I've never seen you low roll your fine vintage, Asa, so... <laughs> Wait, can you I explain mean, why you would always take it here? Is it because on... 3-5, you can just sell all your items onto the best. This, this augment is one of the hardest augments to play, and it averages the best. Um, I think if you look at the top player profiles, it averages, like, close to, like, in, near, very close to end of ones. It's just um, turning a craftable into a support item. Okay, so, like, the prismatic, trash to treasure, like, what the forge. A support item is typically about the same as that, so it's, like, basically a prismatic in power. Of course, you do have to sacrifice some rounds, but... Yeah, it's a silver that's basically as good as a prismatic. Yeah, and you don't have to play. So one thing I will say is that I think a lot of people get baited to feel like they they have to play like the heavenly version where you like play ZZ rods. You actually don't. You can just play 
tempo. So like, for example, I know Saloga Song from EU likes to actually pick up the Tristana and just play Duelist. And you go for, like, Lockets and Aegis, and then you just play, like... BT Titans on, oh, wait. on a duelist. I actually saw the coolest fine vintage build today in one of my games. It was Casper, and he went um like Lockets and Zeeks, and then he went blue kale, like all blue kale, and he frontlined his kale with Locket and Zeeks and fine vintage, <laughs> and it just one shot my front line. <laughs> that like, is I, I had like a three star like um like three star unit with Titans, Titans BT. I was like a Yoni or something. His kale just one shot it. The Huangi <laughs> yeah, I said hi, from the donation. Hello. <laughs> you think YBY is like who the f what the hell? <laughs> it's like, who is Froden? Yeah. I yeah. wonder if he still rerolls because support items go really hard off of strong melee units, right? Because you can make your Nar three or Yone three go even further beyond, like five item Yone. Yeah. I don't know. Nar three with like three support items around him would be uh, unstoppable. I'm assuming he's gonna try to go into Yone. But we'll see. I I would be surprised if you try to reroll Nar from here. But there was somebody had that. a good Yone spot though, right? Oh wait, I just realized. Did he sell his fourth Nar? Uh, oh. I was also gonna say there's like six or four items that are good, and since you see four of them, there's only a three percent chance that you won't see one of the six per per anvil. What are the bad ones? Uh, the ones that I think are bad personally, like Chalice, uh, Banshees. Shalzeper. Banshees and Cleaver. And, oh, and Big Jump. Banshees is bad? I thought it was so good for, like, a Yoni. I like to take one Banshees. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, even if you hit the 3%, you can still take, like, a Shroud or a Banshees. That's not even that bad. Okay. Oh, but I'm yeah. So like, Banshees is, like... gonna get so low. <laughs> I'm curious oh. if he keeps it, speechy. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's time to go all out. It might Wait, even not on? be Yone. It might actually be a Kane, a Kane primary carry. Wait, what if he just goes Wait. heavenly here and then the Behemoth with Malphite and the Dragon Lord later? Yeah, exactly. He he can play Lee Sin Kane as a duo. It, it, this so is actually flexible. something that people don't know very much about, but there's actually like a a melee uh, dual carry Kane. Uh, all right, he's is he's he gonna pitch. Gonna let the BT Titans reroll? Yeah, he's gonna pitch both of them, right? It looks like he's gonna actually just pivot to the heavenly with the cane. Oh my god! Yeah, he's. Just, I mean, honestly, he's... it sounds sick. It, he'll get all the support items and get online on um on four one. Yeah, it, it solves. Like 40 health. We'll see. We'll it see. We'll see. Items. All right, let's predict what support items he's picking next round. Ooh, and uh, what he's getting? Aegis. Wait, but the team planner, the, the I'm, I'm calling it Orn. <laughs> he left Orn in. <laughs> I'm, I'm, he just big gem. I'm calling it because he low rolls so hard on the second one. Ooh, oh yeah. god, this is so bad. No, there's no way he picks big gem. I, I don't believe it. Wait, you, what you, if the other options are terrible? DZ oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, this is okay. Why we're back. We're back. We're back. We are so back. Oh yeah, my he's god. Chilling. He's too good. We He's got so this guy has good units on the board already. This guy like, does yeah. not low roll. He does not low there roll. There is a one in three chance of getting a ZZ rot in each anvil. He just pulled it off twice in a row. Okay, but at this point, now you start wanting the Aegis and the Randuin. So like two crabs is enough. Like you want to spike them up, right? I don't think you want more than two. Yeah, yeah, I agree oh, with really? that. Yeah, yeah, because like, um, especially with Aegis positioning, you can only fit so many units that if you have more than two crabs, you won't be able to buff your actual units, like your heavenly you units and your legendaries and stuff. As well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So. So two is the sweet spot where you're getting a lot of stats and they're benefiting from everything, but then you usually focus Aegis and Randuins after two. Oh, Froden, uh, a lot of people are actually asking why is ZZRot so good? Do you want to explain to them the sure, idea behind this build? Sure. A, a, the void spawns for ZZRot portal benefit from team buffs like Heavenly. So that when you play, when you field Heavenly units, the void spawns are getting buffed. And then on top of that, they're getting the support item buffs. So things like Aegis and Randuins and lock and Zeke's really benefit it. And then the third cap, the third point is that they actually scale with the stage. And so as the, the stage levels up, they actually get more stats across the board. Uh, I believe in stage five, they have something like 200 AD, which is ridiculous. If you start thinking about how, if you're giving them a bunch of attack speed, they're actually just going to melt back lines. If, you, if they ever wrap around to the back, they'll actually just straight up assassinate backline carries. Dude, watching them go in the back and just beat the backliners up is so funny. It's just, <laughs> Do you see the high like, ATM trick? Yeah, he put an item items. on Kindred, so yeah. you can immediately just slam, 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 slam. He got it, and he got it. Even he with 200 it. ping, even with 200 ping, he gets the items off in time. Oh, for right. Wow. Now there's easy route. Oh. oh my god, I like it. Now he's going to just roll to set up the one size of the synergies. Yeah, one cleaver is really one nice, because yeah, until, you, 
So like, if you ever play this comp and you don't have a claimer, oh my god, or don't he have has any Lissandra! Lissandra! Yes. Oh, oh, yeah. over. The he print items. Over. He's the print gonna, oh my god, he's gonna farm wazoo. components. Oh my god! Wait, he rolls so quickly. He knows yeah, with exactly this much what, you, what he wants. No, no, he's, oh, he's oh, gonna get the. He's gonna get the. Oh, Caesar, oh, 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 Like none of them are. Oh, he did not. He didn't feel it. He didn't feel it. Yeah. All good. All good. All good. I mean, like, yeah, he does have multiple lives. Oh, it's because they would do too much damage, and he wants Lissandra to farm items. <laughs> Gotta get the yeah. Kills. If he wins this round, like I think he just he's... wins the game. He might. But like, Wait, really? he, he knew exactly what he wanted. Round, you guys. Oh no. No. Like, he would have won with this for though. sure. It's not even is, is is okay. It's acceptable. Oh, oh my god. Two lives. You know, and it synergizes so well buried treasures. That's probably like the immediate green flag of like, holy crap! I gotta take fine vintage. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good point. Especially because he had buried treasures first, right? So he, it just happened to be perfect. Oh. Keepers. You want a team wide buff like Harmacist or <laughs> yeah. Keepers? Wait, Keepers? Keepers, yeah. keepers is really nice. Oh, yeah. Keepers! A lot of times you want to clump anyway, so Keepers also works well because there's none of them. Um, there's a lot of them that give you resist. Yeah, there's a lot of them that give you resist. So oh cool. my god. Oh my god. god. Oh, he's, he's oh, he's gonna right oh, he's, he's gonna Orn item to Lissandra as well. Oh my god. If he's truly rank 1 material, he pulls a Lissandra 2 out of his ass. Did you ever play two Lissandras? Fuck it, this is the maximum greed. Oh, uh, great you question. Can't, but... You could. You could, You could, but I don't think he should. I don't think he should. Like, over Kha'Zix, because, like, Kha'Zix's heavenly bonus isn't that insane, and, like, 5-4 heavenly, like, it's a big diff, but, like, low-key. Okay. And he has 23 health. There's an, there's an encounter uh, next town, next round. You can earn your 10 bucks back, Dude. Box Box. What is it? Oh, uh, if I had to guess exactly what it is. Oh, no, just you can uh, even give I it would... what type, what type, what type. Oh, I would uh, guess that it is an encounter uh, that uh, it may or may not involve working out. <laughs> Dude, well, I'm gonna call it set brain. It's gonna, it's gonna be Ari, and she's gonna blow a kiss at me. No, okay, cut. okay. No. Oh, we lost. It's, it's we lost. It's Cho. Cho Gath. I can see Wait. that item by someone. Cho oh, Biden. Oh. This is not good. Yeah, that's oh. actually really not good. Working out. Does that make you bigger? Oh, what is it? Kane, do we suck at predicting Kane. these? What does Kane oh, do? Oh, is the it's it's death death. Wait, there's that, a yeah. bug. Is yeah, there is a bug. He can, Wait, he, he can reforge the... these. No, he can leave the death blade and the. Oh, Wait, Zukong, Zukong, we're Wait, he's got Zukong. Oh, Orn dropped the Orn. Dropped the Orn. Dropped the Orn. He drops Diana. Oh wait, he hit Rakan as well. Yeah, yeah he hit Rakan and Wukong in one shot. Disgusting. Disgusting. Pop the anvil. Pop the anvils. He needs bot. He needs aura buffs. He has no aura Open buffs. the anvil. Yeah. You're one life. Okay. Okay. Surely he doesn't abuse this bug, there, right? Lock it. Oh God. Yeah. He hasn't got a single random. Oh, oh man. God. Oh, the low roll. Yeah, oh he man. For clumping. That sucks. Yeah. This never happens to Isa. If he's a bug abuser, I mean, he will. Okay, he's not a bug abuser. Not a, bug, not abuser. a bug abuser. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah. this this happens pretty often actually. With lot, with, with it, that being said, he's gonna win this fight. It's just that like I can uh, I can respect. I definitely that lost he... some LP to people doing this against me today. Yeah, if you're playing fine vintage and you get this event, you just leave the three or the two items there, and they turn into a permanent item. Yeah, and like the game is instantly not over, intended. like literally instantly first. And yeah, I can respect that under the pressure, he chooses to not bug abuse. Wait, um, isn't it just because he has integrity? He wouldn't do whatever. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm saying under the high pressure, more people would be willing to cheat. Oh, uh, yeah. Kane I pair, see. Kane pair. Wait, no, you, no, Wu pair, Wu pair. There are people pair. in this boot camp who have cheated against me when given the opportunity to abuse bugs, and I will always remember them. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh my you. God. Box has uh, a death note. When there, when there's like bugs in fighting games, I never use them. And when people do, I'm like, dude, you're, I, you're scum. <laughs> I got hit um, by the double whammy. Someone did some something like that to me with like this the have the celestial arena bug where they like they play as your units um yeah. bug out in the corner. Oh, oh I think they reinforce yeah. the things also. So like he didn't abuse the cane encounter, but are we gonna talk about the other bug on his board? Kha'Zix? The ZZ Rot. The three bugs the, on his board. The, 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 the Kha'Zix, yeah, nice. Well, he's like playing backpack battles right now with his synergies. <laughs> or with his uh, support like, items. I, I always call it like more like StarCraft because you just like have yeah, them. It's like a <laughs> You just go and tell them to go attack the enemy base. Yeah, I I, I like all the ones he took. Yeah, yeah. it makes it sense. Sucks. 
It sucks that there's no Aegis or. Yeah, I would have taken yeah. four, four Aegis. The only thing Once... I would not, the only thing I would not take taken was a Cleaver on his third, his third pop. He took that kind of fast too. So I think he yeah, likes he, it, right? He values it for sure. I actually wow, think it's really nice until you until you hit Aurelia, like it makes a night and day diff. Dude. He got the component, instantly made the item. Big chip. Wait, does, so ready. does the cleaver like eight AD and AP or whatever buff the crabs as well? Yeah, yes. it should. Yes. Ooh. Cleaver one cleaver is so good here. Wow, Wait, big upgrade. Eight, That's a big upgrade. Okay, so Huawei, when you usually play this board, is actually really nice because you could keep printing the one cost into three stars and then heavily scales off star level for your buff on your team. So you could just keep printing Malphite and Kha'Zix and get three stars. He's at one life though, does he want to risk the weaker board? Yeah, yeah not, not, in this not in this situation, but normally when you have more HP, you would do that. Yeah, oh, is Huawei really actually feeling... weaker though? Like, is it that much weaker? Kha'Zix it's one not that much weaker. versus Huawei, which is a team-wide AoE heal. We're really feeling the ramifications of that one round where he didn't have the Z's in in time because yeah. he was doing like yeah. an insane pivot. Oh. I don't think anyone else could have pulled it off, but if he had pulled the ZZ Rots off, then he'd get two lives. He could play Hui here. This uh -oh. is a matchup you could lose because everything just clumps into Hui. Yeah, he's oh. just getting blasted by the way. Oh. Okay, okay, okay we're good. Let's just play yeah, one. Look at the ZZ Rots in the back line. Uh, yeah, he's, it's he's like extra vulnerable. So... Wait, oh, yeah. no, he'll live. He'll live. Three unit loss is 11 damage. Okay, yeah, so okay, usually, okay, 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 you're right. You're usually right. you're able to beat away because you have Randuins and Aegis giving you so much HP. armor and MR, but he doesn't have those, so that's why he's like even more Dude. vulnerable. Wait, YBY is a legend. He's gonna get first place. I can feel it. He's gonna get first here. Now, what support item does this have to be from the Spark to be first? I think it's just, definitely possible uh, he could get Randuins. first here. Randuins. He's very yeah. unlikely to get first in my opinion, but... I, I, yeah, I've been in this exact... Okay. I've been in a spot like this and I went first. I believe in it. I mean, he can, he can, he absolutely can. It's just hard. It's very hard. I think it's yeah. like he just lost another matchup where a guy has a Hui pair and the next time yeah. they stickle in, he's going to have Hui too. So it's just going to be really hard to beat that. He needs to hit Bill. Wow, he's still making items. That's wild. At one HP, I, I would just use my items. He's saving this for Morello. Man, I'm getting more dog. Oh, gem, gem, gem. Morello. Morello. Ooh, Huey with Morello's. Yeah, yeah now Huey with Morello, maybe, yeah. Oh, I guess uh, that, that makes sense. You. That makes sense. He's like done. He has the right amount of components. I like this. I like this. All right. I want him to win. This, this oh, was such man. a cool game. This build is really cool, by the way. I think this build is really, like, it's really interesting. I mean, it's I kind think of it's degenerate in a fun way. I think it's one of the most unique Agreed. builds in TFT history, and I think people are going to, like, reflect on it in the future. It's cool. I think it's really cool. It's getting, yeah, it's, just, Super it's fun, getting yeah. nerfed hard. Oh, yeah, this is a good matchup. Kai Kaisa can't kill all these fast enough. Hmm. Like, Kaisa cast twice, and then there's still two more ZZ rods. Bro, there's 900 units alive on this yeah, board. Yeah, the trick chat bounces oh, only my. once. <laughs> yeah. Are you going to sell the Lissandra? Or is he going to keep it for now? I mean, I think we just keep it. I think we just keep it. Oh, I didn't even realize he was contested. There's an R3. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, there, there was somebody earlier who was who was sitting on Narn early that he fought, right? If he wins this turn, he wins the game because he gets another support item, and that's the tipping point. And then he goes 9. Well, he, he has to make it to 9. That's where he'll likely die. Or, yeah. Hey, if he moves his Malphite 1 to the right, he would have a heart. Oh, oh wait, no, if his Malphite oh. just wasn't there, he would have a heart. Whoa, whoa, don't talk about Malphite like that, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Malphite has feelings too, bro. Yeah. Um, oh, ghost fight. Okay. Did you guys see what he just did? Why did he what? lock his shop? Oh. Oh. Uh, it's, for, it's, for, it's, for, it's for the ribbon. It's for Altruist. For the it's ribbon. For ribbon. Okay, he wants, he wants to lock for the ribbon and then level to play ribbon, but not lose a gold for it. Yeah. Oh, he, my he, God. He, did, he did some calculations in his head. Wow, I would have just bought it and then... But that makes sense, because like, it's very unlikely he hits something in his next shot that matters. So he's, he's just going to double yeah. lock, go 9, and just play this Riven. Because he has no gold anyways. Yeah, when he levels. Yeah. Wait, that's insanely smart. Oh, he did the math. Oh, well, I guess technically. Aegis? Oh. Oh. Aegis oh, or Randuins? Randuins is also big. Or they're both huge. I don't know which one's better. Aegis has more think... units, which is... Yeah, Aegis has more units. Yeah. I think, I think Aegis is a lot better. Yeah. There you go. Wow, you uh, wanted that, that Malphite okay. gone, bro, and there he is in our time of need. You could try third rowing as well to try to hit two ZZ Ross with Aegis as opposed to just one. 
but it's probably not worth the reposition. Ah, uh, this, this man, look at this clump, this formation. Oh, no, that's an Aurelia too. God, that Aurelia that, oh, that is scary. gross. That's gross. Oh man. Wait, oh, purple Aurelia? I think, I think win. It's jungle Aurelia. Oh, it double popped too. Yeah. Or, yeah oh okay, my God. Mind, mind. This Wait, board no, got its ass beat though. It's the front line's we too are bad. So the, fine. The, front, the, front, the front line was so bad. It crumbled so much faster than I thought it was going to. Yeah, and stage five is easy uh, routes too. Why be wise taking it home? You just go for like a Hoi item here, right? This is such a cool game. If he gets like Shoujin here, yeah. Or Wukong. It's <laughs> gonna be so strong. Uh, we'll call it anything. Yeah, Wukong, Wukong is pretty nice here. It's pretty Helium! Helium! And Rakan! Rakan! This this guy, <laughs> man. Oh my uh, god. Oh. Holy go. cow. Where there's a will, there's a way. Man. Oh He's actually going my first. god! He's a man, just like that. This spot looks so good now. There's even a spot for like, or there's even a chance of our con too. Yes, like the very next shot. This massive he's Wukong paired, and he pinged uh, himself. Paired. He was that excited. <laughs> yeah. He was like, he I'm going. Almost ran into the Lee Sin. I was scared. For him. And, and he he has it in two oh. turns. Oh! Oh my! Oh, god. Diana. <laughs> I sage. roll once, King. Okay. Oh, Aurelia. Can you even fit Aurelia when you have Cleaver? Like, no, is it still worth playing it? Man. Wait, I don't, I don't think you'd ever play Aurelia here, right? Look at this board, though. Yeah, it's, it's usually Aurelia or, like, in this spot, it's Aurelia or Hui. So we, and we hit Hui. Yeah, he's yeah. got Morello, too, so it's, it's probably fine, right? If he didn't have Cleaver, he would have oh. to put on the board, though, right? Probably. Oh, I see what you mean. Aurelia kind of like the end game carry spot. Yeah. yeah. But the Morellos would be pretty good. Uh, there's an Aurelia two in the back. I don't know. I don't. I don't think. I don't think this takes. Look at the boys spawn on her. The Look at the boys is gonna beat him. Oh my god! The ZZ run just the assassination. <laughs> oh, that guy's going crazy back there. Top Dude, damage, four point two k. Bro, he, every oh, person god. he's beaten, he's been destroying them. Like they've taken so much life. This lobby was so healthy too. He was on one HP, and everybody had like twenty or thirty. Dude, this everyone had their chance. Everyone goes. had their chance. They needed to kill him at one HP. Yeah, and he's gonna hit stage six, and his whole board just gets better. What's this? Hey, why, why is this chat in the middle of the screen? Oh, uh, oh. thanks, set. Hey, that's a set encounter. Oh, oh, Huge! that's what you meant. The set encounter. Well. Oh my god. Wait, that was not a set. <laughs> that was a Nico encounter. It's a, it's it's a, set, a set encounter. encounter. It's the set there's, encounter. There's set right there. It involves working out. I mean. Yeah, he's working. He's Wait. working out the way. Yeah, but yeah, uh, so Jim, this is always how the games go, where it's like, you either hit the critical mass where you're unbeatable, yeah. or you die before you reach it. It's always no, very exciting. It's just like, the fact that it was 1 HP, too, honestly, it makes one, it better. Yeah. Yeah. You know, one of the Riot devs overestimated the player's ability to build late game boards, because the ZZ Rots scale, like, in stage 5, the ZZ Rots are way stronger. I mean, I, yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't Rots... think they envisioned... Okay, in Miss. PvE, people were doing things, but they were doing different things. We weren't playing ZZ Ross. We were stacking gems and, like, lockets, and then... Oh, but the... even without fine vintage. Oh, oh. Well, I don't know. Like, I, I don't know if they, probably... they simulate uh, these Dude, he is items. destroying everybody. Oh, my God. Yeah, no one is killing a unit. No. It's really not even close. Yeah. And he's gonna hit stage six. Wow, that's a big upgrade. Oh, my God. Yeah. Well, he's probably Our going first. Done. Well, I mean, I think the moment he made it to nine, he was the first was guaranteed. Yeah. No one beats this. I think someone could hit like a three star four cost and it would still lose at this point. Bro, how did he start the game with this wandering trainer on Nari roll and then end to up this. here? Yeah, like that this is insane this board. flexibility. Yeah. I mean, I, I okay, like gonna... if you hit fine vintage, you just always do. Yeah, I don't think it's yeah. that insane flexibility. It's just the fine vintage plan. Yeah. I mean, I, like, I think and, to the credit of Boxbox, Box, there's a lot of people that wouldn't do that. Vintage. I think it's, like, easy yeah, to true. be like, well, yeah, like, a, any top player would do that. Yeah. But, like, no, I think right, that's, like, yeah. overly reductive of, like, what, what, what a lot of people wouldn't do that. That is true. That is true. Is he going to greed? I feel like he yeah. shouldn't greed, right? Like, just slam uh, any item. Ooh, I like this on Hoi. Oh. On the okay, I like, I, like I like that. I like that. I like that. Rebuilt. Is Put he the cleaver on way. He's creeping someone's Kaisa. Ooh. This is the guy who contested him and made him pivot. 
Dude, half our board can't even get, get past the front line. Our Wukong 2 is just looking for an opportunity to get back in. Uh -huh. He's vibing, yeah. bro. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look all the way. He line. just goes straight to the back line. Oh the my god. vintage is so cool. Yeah. It's really degenerate, but cool. It's like when the Hui is healing everyone too, like the big puddle and they're just all soaking in it. Dude, yeah. there are five players at <laughs> one digit HP. Setsuka went live just now. Oh, oh my god, Setsuka woke up! He woke up! <laughs> the battle for rank one! Oh man. Oh man. I really have pair. I guess he doesn't I think he should it. hold it for sure. Yeah. Maybe hit two star. Worth yeah. playing. Agreed. Azuka was probably watching and then definitely raging. <laughs> then stabilizing at one HP, making this comeback. And yeah, we're, yeah, in that, this call, we're, po eight, we're popping off. You know, Satsuko was, uh, he had some choice words for, for if watching. If he went eighth game. instead of living here with one HP, like, the I mean, event would have been over. Yeah, he's just done. It's yeah. just done. Yeah. He doesn't, he doesn't have the boot up. Wait, what <laughs> if we get a one HP save? Change the entire tournament. Wait, someone's saying that he's live. <laughs> the donation yeah, someone really like, yeah. says who went live. Yeah. Wait, what if we get the classic? What if he went live and he goes eighth, and then YB goes eighth, and it's just a battle of who goes eighth like harder? Yeah. Oh, he just beat the the healthiest person too. Anybody die here? The run back. Wait, someone's uh, dying. Uh, I mean, happening, I think. Yeah. It would take a catastrophic series of events for him to lose this. I, I think it's impossible to lose at this point. Yeah, yeah. I meant like in the next game, because like after this, they'll be kind of even, right? Him and Setsuko. Yeah, yeah. They'll, they'll be tied. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, assuming he gets the first, which it's looking like it's first. Although, how much LP do you really gain at the top? I don't think you're gaining 50. You gain a lot. I'm... Oh, really? Okay. I think he'll gain at least 40. Which means he'll, he'll be within probably 10, 5 to 10, probably. You usually don't gain that much, but it's still early in the set that like everyone's still like climbing, basically. Yeah, I noticed LP gains are way higher at the beginning. Yeah. But like normally, yeah, when you're like ranked top five, you don't gain very much. Yeah, I've seen things like 25 LP for our first. Yeah. There's a guy in, uh, I forgot what region. There's a guy who went, it might have been this guy, actually. He went one, one, five first. He went one, 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 eight, and he lost LP. <laughs> I think it might have been this guy. YBY, yeah. that's insane. Yeah. He went five per yeah. you're saying he, he net lost LP for the climb. He played six games, went first in five of them, and lost LP. <laughs> his, his LP was so high. I don't know. That's like, it's so hard to climb. Yeah. Interesting. This is like the last two rounds, so you just have to slam it. Is it really Archangels? Yeah, Archangels Rakan goes hard. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm down. Rakan's I, I really good with the items, for sure. He's also probably never gonna die. So, okay. Yeah. Uh, Hui two this is for cool. Hanukkah. He's probably holding that Irelia shop so that he can replace uh, his Hui one with Irelia two. Yeah. Essentially. That's his his opponent's not weak, but um, he beat him last time. But I don't know. The he, goal now he has Hui two. That that helps a lot. Is it so cool? The donation. That's <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have five vintage. Yeah. That's you true. are right about that. He doesn't. Oh, have his opponent vintage. was fortune cash. He's also denying time. Aurelia from uh, the other guy's two item Aurelia. Yeah, that is true. And I also, like this uh, be a he has seven heavenly. Like it's just too crazy. It's just too much. Oh, damn it! Isn't close, close though. Oh man. Oh, it is close. <laughs> I really have two diffs. Very close. Oh, oh my, my god! I think I really have two diffs. That look at top damage. Look at top damage. <laughs> it was seven. It. What's it? It was seven K recon. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think he needs to move scary. his Wukong up. It's got really got to get into action right away and start stacking. Because Wukong's like a scaling champion. Yeah, agreed. Wait, he is? That. I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. He, whenever he casts a cycle, he, he elongates his his weapon. He gets well, lost I didn't know range, that. and I think the stun duration is like... Oh, oh, I don't know oh, how he long it is. He knows! It's long as fuck. That was insane. Like th that's such a small micro optimization that we can only see because we're like spectating and not playing. I'm, I'm impressed he found that. <laughs> to watch that fight and be like, huh, my Wukong wasn't active enough. Hanako awesome. also is like full greeting yeah. a clump, and that's like really bad for like the Rakan is just getting so much value. <laughs> oh. 
Wukong, Wukong is back is one. Oh, there! Wukong! Oh, Wukong! Wukong got clobbered. Oh, yes. oh my that was a, god. That was a big staff. As wraps. Wow. Beautiful. GG. Actually oh beautiful. My god. One HP just made a 100 LP difference. Man. Holy. How much LP does he gain? I, I gotta know. Is he at 1140? He's gotta queue it back up, too. 39, 39. 39. 39. <laughs> okay. He's 7 LP away. And for some reason, LP. that's not centered. Yeah, I don't oh. know. It's... Okay, let's go look at Setsuko. Wait, is Setsuko going to get... Yeah, I was going to say. All right, here we go. Oh Setsuko in game. Yeah. Well, I thought he had fine vintage for a second. Yeah, I was going to say. I was, <laughs> gonna, I was like, oh. Wait a minute. I mean, there's still time. They're within 7 LP of each other. Setsuko so almost uh, plays exclusively Fast 9, but we'll see. I mean, that... That, that sounds sense. right. That checks out. Yeah. The only thing that would be more hype what a is Bramblin, if Setsuko yeah. Q-sniped howdy, howdy. him. Oh yeah, that would've been nice. They, they could've they could have played every single game together from then on. Oh, you should've just done. Uh, does anyone know what portal it is? Hello. That, who's been following Setsuko? Hello. Hello. That's a good question. Hello. Yeah, someone How's in chat going? basically would know, that's what I'm asking. Yeah, some, someone in chat might know what the portal is. How's the race? Is it close with anyone? It's extremely LP. close. Rank 1 and rank 2 are 7 LP apart. Oh my gosh, YBY1 ran it up? Just now. 1 HP, oh, wow. didn't go 8th, went 1st. Oh. Wait, rank 3 is pretty close, only 300 LP off. Did anybody okay, else just... Yeah, he uh, better get on that. Fly across this. What's going on? No, it's Why not me, it's Spencer. Oh, he's so for. Wait, did anyone else just see a bunch of components fly across the screen? Uh, no, that was no. just you. Am I hallucinating? I, mean, I swear that I probably it. happened, but I wasn't paying attention. I was digging through the LP. Yeah, I was. Oh, I, saw I, was it. I, wanted, I wanted to make you look crazy, but I saw it too. I was checking the other LPs. Uh, Do you guys like stationary? Some, somebody probably popped a ramble before Carousel. Yeah, stationary support is dope. Uh oh, yeah, I like it. Yeah, I'm a fan. Really? I hate it. You, you can <laughs> low roll so hard, especially the prismatic one. If you get two that don't synergize together. Oh, I think I mean, the prismatic yeah, one's a lot riskier. Because because of that, but I feel like he, yeah. the the only one I'm unhappy with is Chalice. Any other one is like fine. Really, I'm not like super happy with Zephyr, but like it's fine. Yeah, like the the high roll outcomes are so good, but uh, I I hate the potential that you get like a Chalice which wants to be in the back line and then like or a back line item and a front line item in one, and you're just very sad. Oh yeah, no, like the prismatic one is risky, but like the gold one is just so often. Great. Yeah, Sasuke is the oh. most fun player to watch. He he plays Fortune Fast Nine every single game. What the really? hell? He's, Wait, he yeah, wants to. He has Fortune, and he's. Yeah. You can well, tell he he's might really not happy. play it now because he's four streak. But yeah. If you he watch Fortune China, Fast China nine, actually like holds these units for stage four or stage three and four. They they actually play it like hard steel now. Yeah, no, a lot of people in NA have been doing that now too. Mm -hmm. Actually, mm -hmm. I've been seeing like Weijin, Ashmu, uh, like uh, they do it like almost every game. Wait, did you guys see that Twitter post where it's like, Juan Mian has climbed to rank 1 said that everyone knows I climb step by step with each swing of Darius's axe? Yeah, this Darius unit is insane. <laughs> Darius is so OP. Is this Darius going to the back? Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, I mean, every time it. you think you're, you're gonna 5 streak, it's always Darius 2 with an item. That Wait, every time it. I think I'm gonna 5 streak, it's because I have a Darius. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, he's so cool. I was playing I watching him spin morning. his thing. Is he really gonna like sack or like sack his five streak now for fortune? I don't think he'll do it until he loses. Yeah, he'll Ooh, he Silas! Loses. That's a huge Man. hit. Silas, Silas is an early game monster, especially with the Randwins and Umbral. And a Darius too. Yeah. Chill on. So is this strat here that like, yeah, he's just gonna play whatever flex board until he loses. Then he's gonna put in fortune and just lose six rounds in a row and then cash out he's keeping the option too he doesn't have to because part of what makes it difficult is he has to kind of recognize if if uh well i mean one he has to hit fortune which he just did and two he has to recognize if like uh, his fortune spot makes sense he's, you roll the die and sometimes and you see like what, what you want to do with it. oh okay so he, he, he probably I mean, likes the silas and wants to start yeah. winning i see he also yeah. um someone else in the lobby is fortune so it's a lot riskier because yeah, like, yeah, it's harder, it's harder, harder two, to actually right? lose oh wow he did not hesitate Whoa. he did not uh -huh. hesitate he knew exactly what he wanted is this it what's his plan 
What do you mean? I already told you his flares. He's, he's going fast nine. You can just put like like he Marius has actually really good nine. items for Irelia. There's two oh, Darius. Wow. These items on Darius. He's running two Darii. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Darius is a beast. Wait, no way, right? <clears throat> the strongest. Like, how long is he gonna play this unit for? Until he's level nine. <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't. I don't know if he's gonna play. It, I don't know if he's right? gonna play it purely throughout stage four, but like a lot, he can. He can. Yeah, like he's extremely strong for stage three. Yeah, he he does fall oh. off, but he might he might play Darius and Trey, but he's not gonna win every fight until nine. Bro, he is level six forty, big chilling. Let's get encounters this stage. Yeah. Oh, do we think Wilhelm's gonna involve lifting <laughs> potentially? Mm. It tripled down from box box. All right, well, let's okay. all predict. Let's all predict. I'm the calling. One, I'm, I'm loyal to Kha'Zix. The next one's Kha'Zix. Oh, idealism? Sure. idealism. When he has Hodge. Idealism. Wait, you could just go Hodge on Silas. That's so strong for tempo. Yeah. You could big grab bag as well if you want just like diversity of items. Yeah. Think of it this way: big grab bag, you get idealism and a component. Oh, Not really though. You get the bonus damage, which is super huge. Oh wow, yeah, Yone no, yeah. pair. Oh, what? Yone? Oh my goodness. These guys, this guy's shots are illegal, man. Oh my god. I like the Darius one in over Yone. He's like, yeah, I'm chilling. <laughs> <laughs> That's my boy, right? That's my dog. Yeah, he already has Morello, so it's probably stronger. He already has Morello and Darius. Oh, you mean because it's like not consistent? Wait, what are you doing? Well, Yone, Yone, Yone is an anti heal option. Yeah. He's, he's, he's just he's, he's just faking it. it. Yeah. So no mix up, mix up. And like if people scout him, they'll see like some of his units. Says, it's really hard to like identify really quickly. They'll see the umbral on the ground and know that he's going to switch back. But yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like commit. You he might, but like umbral. if you're scouting really quickly, you might you sure, might not yeah. like. Yeah. Yeah. Comprehended in time. Look at this Yasuo, by the way. Oh, he's this Yasuo this. is so Wait, hard to kill. this Yasuo is gross. Yeah, I mean... This okay, is but this other... Darius is grosser. Watch uh, this. this. is yeah, the other one. but these two uh, stone plays. Uh, oh, oh Wait, okay. Marty Air, Marty Air, Marty Air. Oh, oh no. it goes dancing. And there's a tail on. Dummy wins these. Dummy wins these. <laughs> he does not win these. Dude, I still think it's so. It would be so cool if the dummy's the last one alive in a one v one. It like grows legs and starts slapping him. Yeah, it starts chomping over. That's like what? Yeah. <laughs> like something out of a horror movie. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, it is choke out, man. He, he already lost his streak. He declined. I knew it. I knew choke. H June wow. just plays first, and now H June is thirty four LP away from Saber. Oh, oh. Saber's still super playing. Spicy. Wait, Saber. When was Saber's last game? I'll look. Uh, a couple uh, hours ago. Five hours, hours ago. ago. What, what did he choose ago. just now? What did he choose? He, he, declined. he declined. He declined. He declined. Declined. Declined oh. the Shogath offer because he just lost his streak. So, if he was on a streak, there could be an argument to be made about like just try to keep it. Do you, do you ever choose that at three two? Wait, yeah, I'm actually I'm surprised he declined it. I would have taken it for sure. Yeah. I think that level nine is a huge lottery if you uh. If you take it, you lose one of your five windows and it's 10% odds. There's no way you're not going to hit anything. Also, he doesn't yeah. have one component. This event becomes really good. If you have one lone component, you get two full. Yeah, control that items. is true. That is true. Mm -hmm. He has carousel he coming has one up. More after it is, yeah, it is the round before carousel. That is true. Yone cannot move. Yeah. I think uh, I, I watched last episode. Dodge. Go ahead, Ace. He's one of my favorite streamers. Um, I think. Well, I, I think he's the best player in NA, but I think the one weakness in his play is he's overly re reliant on Irelia specifically. Interesting. Like he's like too attached to her? Yeah, pretty much. I wish I was attached to her. <laughs> right. I guess that makes sense with the items he slams, right? I mean, I think Irelia is the best late game carry in the game, so... Yeah, she it, is. So, like, I don't even think it's, like, a bad, uh, or a, we a weakness that I think is, like... It's an, it's, a, it's an understandable drawback, I think. Is it just because she can hit the back? It, it's, it's, it's like, she just, she's the best DPS in the game, like, late game. Like, her and Huey, she basically does what Huey does, but she can that. also kill carries, which is yeah. a big deal. It's like, Zaya's really the other one, but the problem with Zaya is you really want to play Rakan very, very badly, so you can't play yeah. Zaya. I mean, just hit both. Why not? Like, do you? And I really, it's probably better than Zaya anyway, even if you could. But do you need duelist with Irelia? Because every time I play her, it doesn't feel good. It's, it's pretty easy because you play Rakan, like I said, and then Lisa and activates both their synergies. Yeah, mm -hmm. that makes sense. Interesting. Just playing a no synergy Morgana. I feel it. No, nothing else here is that good. 
Oh. She does give some chills. <laughs> that chills. Man, he really fidgets with his pieces a lot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's like one of the biggest play. offenders of ADHD, TFT brain. <laughs> There's definitely like a correlation. Like the more people tend to flicker their units, the more the higher skill. Oh, <laughs> you would think so. And then uh, you watch Soju <laughs> climb. <laughs> the thing, is, the thing is, is like when you see someone else do it, then you start doing it. So then it becomes everybody does it. And yeah. then the correlation falls apart. But look at his speed. Like many people fidget, but no one does it as fast or as randomly as... Tetsuko used to be um he used to be a challenger jungler Ooh. player, so he has like Wait, really? Yeah. Wait, Tetsuko? He's actually Tetsuko? still really He's actually still really good, yeah. He he can get to masters, I think, pretty easily. So. Wait, he's a League of Legends player? Yeah, that he that, that he, was a, he was he was a challenger jungler trying to like like be really good and then he plays Oh, like you're right. Can I just In say seven and eight. I love that you guys are so surprised that TFT player played League. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, right. no, no, it's I, just I, like, I, 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 I mean, I know, I know, but it's just like, what? Like, it's just like the, the astounding nature of like that. Yeah, I'm like, okay. There are so many TFT streamers that were challenger in League. Like, Boxbox, Box, Setsuko, Soju, yeah. Press the Vent, Keen, uh, uh, Yeah. Okay, man. You're, like, you, you're naming some people who are literal pros, like wait, Challenger. Yeah. Yeah. I know Preston. No, there are a lot though, like Solus and Socks, I think, and uh, yeah, Milk. Scara, like literally, literally all of them except for like me. You know, um, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if you guys know this. We said it a lot during the Worlds broadcast, but this past set for set ten World Championship, we finally had our first player who made it to both League of Legends Worlds and TFT. Oh World. yeah, that was sick. Oh, that's wait, who? His name is Relic. He's from uh, Argentina, or no, sorry, Venezuela, and he oh, uh, oh. and so he he played Damn. in Worlds uh, a few seasons ago, and now he played it. He, he started playing TFT competitively in set at the end of set nine. His set ten was his first full set, and then he made it to Worlds, and so it was like a really big storyline. Oh story wow, line. wow, Dude, that's crazy. Damn, you I, know what's funny? Think... Oh sorry. No, I was gonna say it's funny that like you're like, wow, this guy made it to Worlds in both games. He's such a beast, and someone in the chat said, "Who like." Imagine doing something so impressive, and then a Twitch chat guy's like, "Who?" I've never I mean, heard this guy. that's because Riot doesn't sucks. market their world that great. But yeah, it's just like yeah. damn. Especially for TFT, so oh, he's gotta yeah. he's gotta go get Valorant now. He's gotta do all the. That's right. He has to make it to the, the champions. He's making the champions. He's, he's three off Yone, by the way. I mean, did we roll a single Sen relic? No, no. He's about yeah. to. He's about to have Yone. Oh wait, someone else is rolling for Yone. The other person is playing Yone. Yes, they have they have BT Hodge Titans. Yeah, but like we have six Yones, uh, right? Like, well, he, he might still not roll. He's just like if it happens, it happens, and if not, he's griefing. He's not gonna roll for sure. Yeah, he really? Is, so. Like, uh, okay, to, I might roll, but I, like I've watched a lot of this guy. I'm, I'm yeah. very confident he's not gonna roll. I was but, gonna like, say I, I've watched a lot of uh, the same thing. I feel like I've never what's going on. Like, wait, but he got the thing that empowers the tier of champions, and he chose three cost. He has six no, he right now without cost. rolling. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, there, there's just a bow flying across the screen. I'm actually surprised yeah. he shows four costs. Yeah, he was like really in the tank about it. He plays for like he he likes playing for max cap. Yeah, I mean, Giga Ted. But the thing is, four just... costs doesn't really matter that much for max cap either. I, I none of them really do, right? It's like, like Orn and Leeson are like the ones you would play. Yeah. Stay United. Ooh. That's probably not a good. Encounter if, you're, if you're trying to go fast nine, right? Like, but it's a stay united. Yeah, it's not because it gives everyone such like yeah, really power. There's no, there's, yeah. no five, there's no five cost option. Yeah, so it helps everybody else way more. Rolling. Do be rolling. I want to see how he takes us to nine. This is so interesting. Yeah. I want to see him grab a Wukong and literally the next shop. Let me see <laughs> what the calculator be cool. has to say about this. The, no, the calculator. <laughs> Wait, what, what, the what does calculator? the calculator say about? Wait, what yeah. is the, the calculator? Can't even speak, bro. What do you want him to spit out about this? Nah, that's because you just you just can't hear. You're not listening. Oh, I'm not listening. Yeah. yeah, you can't slow down. Wait, what are you trying to calculate though? Uh, uh, okay, Yone. So, if oh he natural on the way down there. for Yone at seven there. Oh, like, okay, okay. If he rolled down that's to true. zero. He would have a 36% chance of Yone 3, mm. which is you, actually not that high. You factored in all the Yones that were taken on the pool? The other, yeah, yes, the I, I plugged in the other... Well, I don't know how many, but I, was, I said 9 Yones if... out of the pool. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's pretty reasonable. So, like, yeah, 
assuming he's contested, he has a 36% chance of hitting if he rolls, which is pretty low. So honestly, I'm kind of down for this. Did you factor in the say... chance that he's listening to Taylor Swift right now? What? Is he? What's on? Probably Wildest probably Dreams. Is. That's like the most common one that he hits on the playlist. I will say, I think if he took the three drop empowerment, there was like one to two fights he would have won at this point. Probably. I don't know how much that matters in the long term, but I feel like it, that it last fight. It matters a lot. It, like the reason why he's rolling is because he's lost the last two. He can't get there reliably. Mm hmm. But rolling here is really difficult because he has to know when to stop rolling, and I don't know if he can. Until he hits Ooh, Silas the, the one. <clears throat> Yeah, it's really, okay, I, like the more you roll at eight, the the more your dreams of nine go away. Wait, what's he even playing? He's not taking the silence. I think he's gonna sell something for it. Yeah, he's just yeah, he's he's gonna, gonna, he, he might. Oh, he might be pivoting to Kaisa ghostly. Yeah, he's holding the orange Kaisa on the left. Oh, he's pivoting. Mm -hmm. All right. And so, I, I mean, mean, this is what it. he plays if he can't fast nine, which makes sense. Yeah. But the problem is rolling for two costs is so painful. 25% odds. I've seen worse. Erm. Is, is he gonna pop the anvil before the carousel? Not There's a little after, trick after. you can do with you, it. You pop it as you go into carousel and it stays on oh, screen. Oh! Yeah. That's genius. Oh. What the heck? Are you serious? Yeah. I, I didn't know you could do yeah. that. There you go. So now we can what? see it and then pick it. Whoa! Right, oh my it. god! That's what was happening <laughs> earlier when components were flying across the screen. Other players were doing this. Yeah. Oh, what the heck? You oh. wait and see. What the? What? Box, box. Do you not watch other people play TFT? I don't watch streams. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't know you could do this. I always figure everything out like on my own. Eventually. Wait, I watch Holy. infinite streams. I didn't know you could do this. I swear, watch some videos. Wait, so, so, get, then takes Wait, so oh Sage God. M and I were the yeah. ones, the only ones who knew that? Wow, that's crazy. Wait, I watched so yeah, many streams. I've never seen. Well, this. I did that's not know that either. That's the commentator eye, I think. Man, yeah. Oh shit. Oh shit. Way to flex on him, buddy. It's the uh, in fighting games they call me the watcher because they're just like he knows everything. How does he do this? He just watches. You're always like you always just lose and you're on the sidelines. I'm always. Uh, I didn't Wait, play. Oh, he's one off Yone. Oh, hold on. Wow. What the hell? Oh, hold on. You're a beast. You're a beast. Come just, on. Just, just, just hit. hit. Just hit. This man a Wait. Oh, Wait, double cane. Not double cane. No, oh, I hit. He says double cane. Oh, right. Do you sell for the cane? He's not. He's chilling. Arcane. I mean, this is a wild game. He's at zero gold, but he's like I on feel the like brink it's an of greatness. easy take out Kha'Zix put in Kane, no? I think he's going to play four Reapers. Uh, he likes Heavenly. I mean, you, you want to play four Reapers as fast as you can. Yeah, I think he's going to yeah. play four. Yeah, four Reaper wow, good. I just mean for this game. fight, like you get ghostly with that. Like, I, obviously, would, I would rather have the Kha'Zix. Plus, you have four drop empowerment. Oh. Every time you pop off. He's still very healthy, even though he has no money. Exactly. Right. What Yone? And this dummy loses every 1v1. Uh, right, that's what I'm saying, bro. Yeah, he sucks. Get him so off the team. Dummy has to be in the second and row. Yone 3? Oh, Ooh, I really Oh, really, uh, and... it's gone. Oh. Wait, hear me out, say Jam. The training dummy has a playable character in 2xKO. Yeah, I'm down. You want to get your ass <laughs> to duo, right? Yes, yeah, sir. All right, let's do it. You can play the training dummy. So it's like ticking back on Darius and Yorick for... Kane and Kindred? Yeah. Exalted. Ooh, uh, exalted. Oh, the thing I is, he's trying to. Oh, value. wow. I Wait, didn't even realize he couldn't exalted. exalted. Yeah. The Stand boost. United value. He checked it earlier. I don't I, I know United Silas value. and I guess Shen, right? But there's something. I don't know what the third one is. Man, you yeah, guys. Silas, Shen, and something else. This is, th if he pulls this off, it, this might be one of the most impressive games I've seen in a long time. Oh, I'm going to check. This guy no, has it. I feel like he's playing this game not, not that uh, I don't, I don't, normally does. I don't like how he plays this game. <laughs> I, I think it's not up to Setsuko's standards, in my opinion. Oh, I mean... I am. I, I think it's easy to say it from this, from the perspective of where we're sitting, but like... So, I say this very much so not as good as Setsuko. I feel like this is getting too, like, too cute. Like, trying to go super wide for standing United value. Like, I feel like you just have to go for Reaper. I'm like, go for Drake wide. YBY. YBY, like only one round. YBY is in a new game. Level 7, big chillin'. Hunt, Mr. 100. Oh. On stage oh. 3, uh, 7. So he, he's, he just wait, hit the creep round. These orbs could have. Oh, okay. He's Mr. 100 with. Uh, way. Way too. Way oh, too. He just... 
He skipped a set. Yeah, what? Nice. That was two. There's, uh, this is the board he wants to play. 14 Yones out of the pool. There's only three Yones left. Like, Thank hitting you. this last one's going to be so hard. Nah, All right, plug it into the calculator. I, I will. I oh, will. Is it I saw the, other guy, the other guy had six Yones, right? and you have eight. Oh, yeah. I forgot he has idealism. I'm, I'm really curious why right? you guys don't like the way he played this. I, I, I like to hear more. Because he taught, like, it's not that he, like, I don't know what his plan was initially, but the fact that he, one, he didn't scout how many units the other guy had when he started rolling as hard on eight, so we don't even know how many were gone, but he's still in the position now where he has to hit Yone three or he's just going to die. And he with all these Yone's gone. Yone the entire oh, I think he can, I think he can top four with just Yone two, which is pretty silly about the, what the unit can do, I guess. But... Oh, you're so close. I'm not saying he can't oh, top man. four, but I think he got to play Star. I mean, yeah, I'm still in enough, the camp of, enough. if you're playing Yone, you should take the three drop. Buff. I, that, that's, that's okay, that's yeah, sure, I, sure. But like part of it was like he deviated from his time. original plan twice. Yeah. Oh. I think I think either if you're going for five costs, you still take three costs there. Right, he has yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Oh, there's a way if he wants to wait three rounds. No way. He can't, he can't. <laughs> there's Another a way. way again. Damn, oh. dude. Why YBY is like gonna top four his game also, by Please. the way. Please. Why? Um uh, so okay, sad. I plugged into the calculator. Uh Every turn, he can roll 10 gold, which is a 15% chance of hitting one Yone. Uh, which is why, pretty low. So why he didn't why, get 10 gold a turn, though, right? Why do I is, uh, he is level 7, radiant red buff on a Huey 2. What? Yeah, with like no losses again. in his game. Uh, yeah. Wait, on level 7, there, there ain't no way. Yeah, he just took balance <laughs> budget, and my man is going fast 9, and he's, I mean, he's probably going to first Way this two? game. He's, yeah. Yeah, look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh, what a, what a Yone! Oh my god. Can Silas clean this he up? Might... Is it enough, yeah, though? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He, can, oh. he can, he can, he can, he can. Oh, oh my can't, god. Tom can't, can't just not help <laughs> <laughs> Kench, stop licking the dummy. <laughs> you want to talk about how cool Silas is? This is my favorite four cost in the game. He's really, I think he's really cool too. He's really, really cool. Yeah. I wish One it was seven stacks only. I wish you could play him more often, but he's tight. He's cool. Yeah, when they nerf like five costs and stuff, and it's more of a four cost centered meta, like, I, I can see Silas being a hmm. god. Satsuko is not checking his contester. Like, no, he, has, he, he, has, like, Wait, he is. He is. He is. He is. Oh, oh, he's he, just he checking looks... it so fast. I can't even see yeah. it. Yeah, he's like, have before the last round. Yeah, he's hovering the buff. Okay, yeah, I mean, I think three, that obviously buff. is probably the big thing you would correct, but I think like how he's handling his spot is really impressive. The time, the time that he got offered it though, he wasn't gonna reroll Yone. Like he was just gonna go. Nine. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. He, and he, yeah. he deviated twice from his main game plan, and he's he's still might top four. I think that is really hard to do. Yeah, when he chose that buff, it was a very ambitious like choice, but that's why he set Sukos because like he fast nines every fucking. Silas! He makes oh, those oh, ambitious choices oh, all the time. Oh my god, Silas. No. Oh, wait. He's going to oh. cast. Oh, oh no. Oh. That timing. That oh. timing. Uh -oh. Okay. Crazy's dead. Yone on carousel. No, he's living. That's a bad loss. Yone on carousel. He's living. That was a bad loss. Because the guy's on carousel, that guy, the contestant, is definitely going to oh, take it. That's true. Of course, yeah. Of course. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, maybe he doesn't see it. Maybe he doesn't see it. Maybe he doesn't see it. No, he's, he sees it. He sees it. He's Trust waddling, me. bro. And he's oh, standing next to no. it. Oh. Did you see the way he waddled space. over and stood there? And it was like, well, well, well. <laughs> he made sure that he had eight. He's like, do I have to take this? Yep. Okay. You know when, now like, there's uh, only two left in the pool. Oh, man. All right, calculator His time. Odds per roll go down to one. 2%. 2% chance per roll. Hit anyways, hit anyways. That's a 1 in 50. Okay, that's oh. pretty good. Oh. oh. Wait, do you ever fully itemize Kane here over Yone because of the uh, four cup buff? Yeah. Salvage placements. But yeah. he could wait for the guy to die and then hit, and then it actually... Oh, oh no. Oh, that's it. Uh, well, I mean, I, yeah, this is correct, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, he's playing for placements. Yeah, yeah, yeah but it's not fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It kind of smells. Oh, I feel so bad for him. <laughs> Wait, would you put LW on Kane or? Yeah, yeah, yeah Kane's finish. really good because he AOEs. I, oh, man. Uh, he tight, man. Got it. You know, that guy waddled over to that Yone, licked his fingers, and said, Don't mind if I do. And here we are. <laughs> yeah. That is, <laughs> that is like, not a good time. Yeah. That feels even better. Classic well, I mean, mold diver behavior. Right like, yeah. Oh, Wait. my God. It that's okay. Worse. Okay. Yeah, I His Titans is not even fully stacked after that fight ended. Yeah, so, it's it's probably, it was probably IE Kane. Alright, what are the new odds he gets Yone 3 box box? 
<laughs> plugging back in. My favorite thing is he unironically says it's calculator time, like a, a Saturday morning villain in a in a car. It's, like it's like a Power Ranger move. <laughs> yeah, I, you fight him under the bridge with a putty. It's like it's just box box with a calculator. <laughs> fighting the Power Rangers. There he is. Uh, okay, Vile didn't die. So. Uh, I plugged into the calculator, and it says if he rolls 50 gold here, he has a 5% chance of hitting Yone 3. Wait, what? Okay. Wait, only 5? Is that a Yone's chance? return to the pool? Yeah. It, it, is that a chance? like, like literally... Yone's... Sorry, go ahead. Oh, wait, uh, sorry, sorry. Um, it's 17%, not 5. Oh, okay. okay. That sounds more correct. Oh, this is Silas! Yeah. It's Yone! Oh, my oh, God. Nice. Silas. Wait, Wait, does that calculator have the ability to factor in dead people that don't have any three costs and like the pool is wider? Yes. Yeah, you just have to Ooh. input it, I think, right? Yeah, you just manual input. Is Vile dead? Good news is Bard and Tom Kench are still. Could you consider alive. nine with Exalted? Sell all, make ten, go nine. Oh my god, Pitsy just died, buddy. Come on. Wait, that's, that's, that's not nice. Oh no, it's okay. I, I, me and him are cool. I banned him like every other day. <laughs> I banned him every other day. Don't you? But have you ever like banned one of your mods and then you got to remod them? And yeah, like, hey, I banned more dog one time, and then I went yeah. eight right after game, so I had to unban him. Wow, <laughs> and then he was justice. unmodded. <laughs> yeah, it was super awkward. Don't you mm. ban me for saying I like recompopulator? Deserved. <laughs> Wait, we can go third. Deserved. <laughs> It could be a third. I think I'm telling you though. I think YBY spot is he's he's probably going first, which means yeah. Like then Setsuko really he's... needs this third just yeah, to like. Yeah, it means stay. he's yeah. gonna go down to the last game Ooh, for both yeah. of them. BT, BT is pretty good. Yone does do some stuff with AP. Like his spot in his game is so good that he's going like top two. He's waiting. He's is waiting there... for this fight. He needs to see if he needs a specific defensive item as opposed to offensive item. Mm. Oh, that's a small. Oh, that is really small. Oh, I got a ghost too. Okay. You can take the claw here. Yeah, for the, for the Kogma. Yes, Damn. Very smart. Wow. Very very smart. Genius. Wow, that is that is. Wow, that's big brain. Wait, this Little is so cool. Oh. Wait, what is this guy like the rank one? Uh, uh, that is not uh, looking good. <laughs> No, we're, he we're, live? we're live. We're oh. live. Yeah, he's he lives. What a great move. Yeah, honestly, we call that a D claw diff in the business. Uh, okay, he's dead. Dead. And Files, dead. Files dead. Okay. okay. FF. 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 Get out of here. FF. You FF? Yeah. yeah. Can... I'm FF. FF. Save man. time. Like actually. I yeah, mean, you might have time for two games if you have half here. He's gonna need. He's gonna need the time maybe. Yeah. yeah. Why be, he should why actually be forfeit. Well, I mean, he, okay, technically you want to play, like, two good games, and then why I might bot for one game or something like that. Or, what if he just needs one game? Oh, we're doing it, he's doing it, he's doing it, he's doing it. That was very yeah. smart. Good, very had, to be, had to be done, had to be done. Like, mm -hmm. if you look at YBY's spot, it's insane right now. Like, he oh, is it's so good. It's, he's let's, 75 let's look at HP, five, uh, stage 5, 1, level 9. He's just, like, big chilling. He's got way too already. He's just, like, assembling an endgame board to go first. He's chilling. Like this spot right, is. Back to YBY. Yeah, this spot is like he he's winning this game. I think. Is it ever wait. the play to wait and Q snipe him? Or is that like BM? Uh, I mean, I, he, that'd he be can't. hype. Yeah, I mean, so he's probably going to get two games. Very hype, yeah, he can't wait. I think though. That's right? way he's, too he's scary. Because like you might be able to fit in two games here. Yeah, look at his spot here. Like he's or he yeah, be a beast. sizably radiant. Chilling. He's had this way too on seven, by the way. Yeah. With radiant red buff. Yeah. How did he have way too? I, I don't know. I popped it open. It was there. Maybe Recombob or something. It, it the, might be like Champion encounter. Duplicator Portal or something like that. Yeah. I'm gonna go investigate. Bring um, more rewinding, rewinding the footage. Bring up the elevator. But yeah, now he just has to assemble endgame board and then, you know, he's a big challenge. He's got okay. A lot of okay. In hindsight, I know again a lot of people were had like were criticizing some aspects of, but I think that game was actually really cool. I think that was a good game. He, he got oh, in yeah, there no. and got his LP, yeah. It's easy to see the mistakes when you're not playing the game with your hands and brain and <gasps> Oh, it was, it was the Rakan, Rakan encounter to recombobulate Kaisa 2 into Hui 2. That's what it oh was. Oh my god. Wow. wow. Did he, get a he hit way off that, man. How did he get a Kaisa? Wait. He did have a Kaisa when? 2 on 7. <laughs> okay. 
Oh, when was this encounter? Uh, this was... Oh, no. Th this straight. was 3-6. Three, 3-6? Six. Three, six. Oh, okay. wait, that's a very early Kaisa. Can, yeah. Team. It can happen, then. So he was 100 health. He got Kaisa off Carousel. Okay, some, some of these boards are also insane. That This, this is a crazy lobby. This, yeah, I was going to say, this game seems very high power level. Radiant, uh, red buff. Uh, Philios 3, 7 faded, just got clobbered. This is crazy. I'm gonna yeah. go play against Tessico. His Q is gonna be too long. Damn, oh. Oh. oh, yeah, okay. me too, guys. My, my MP is so high. I, I'm, I should queue yeah. up too. Yeah. Go I'll queue help. Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll help we should all match. queue. We should all yeah, queue. We have enough people in call, right? We can make a lobby. <laughs> all of us. <laughs> yeah, I can get on my challenger. Let me just uh, <laughs> queue up real if quick. If Tessico can't find a match in time, it might be optimal to snipe. And then just like, you know, because if you if you top four, you lower the odds of YBY top fouring, and you yeah. can personally like take him down. You, you snipe, you hard contest, and say nah, I'd win. Nah, I'd win. This, this, okay, so, oh, just, so many three just stars. To give you guys a review, a yeah. play by play. He got a Kaisa in the shop on three five. He also had Kaisa off carousel on stage three, uh, and he had a Nikos. And then on three wow. six, it turned into a Huey two. Did, did he? Yeah. Did he? Did he duplicate in anticipation of that? Like, did he? Yeah, you can. Be? You can put. You can make a two star with the duplicator and then to click the recombob. Uh, no, it, it was the stage beforehand. I mean, it was Kaisa two with great items like Infinity Edge tattoo Kaisa two. Oh, like, okay, but you was, still that option okay. is available too. Wait, you you actually can just duplicate it and then you click can the you can yeah yes, I, I did that because something you can do. He did it beforehand, but he could have done that. Let's see. Damn. That uh, volley bear kind of cleaned up. Yeah, I can't believe that this board is not like instantly winning. Oh, I guess other people also could recombine. Everyone hits. Things. I don't think anyone missed this lobby. This game looks very strong. Yeah. So it's if like YBY already wins this real. game, he'll be 10, 20 LP ahead of so uh Soju Setsuko. It depends. It depends on everyone else's LP, but I think he's in a high elo lobby. He's probably gonna. He's probably gonna win after this item. Got okay, so much stronger. Yeah, 3M, 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 uh, sorry, Hui is really good. Wukong 2. And Wukong 2. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, his board is pretty wild. Oh, and guaranteed Udyr soon. Wow. He's been printing with his wife for a bit, too. Wait, he had I, just, early. I just saw his first augment. Combats. Yeah, pumping he up. Has yeah. pumping up <clears throat> three cooking. He gets stronger. My goodness. Only gets this stronger. isn't even his final form. <laughs> yeah, this, this, this game is like... He, he's Wait, someone's playing Twin Terror Lux. Oh, it woke. Wait, Whoa. man. Did they get double Twin Terror? I thought that wasn't allowed. Uh, I, I, I didn't see it. Hang on a second. So the game theory behind like winning this event is actually going to be very interesting. Because Setsuko's queuing it up right now. I don't think he's going to get to play another game, honestly. He's, a, he's five minutes in queue already. Yeah, Setsuko plays one game here, I think. Like, yeah, oh. I think there's no way he gets two games. In which case you would just cancel and wait to see. Oh, but that's that that's actually good for us in the in the sense that like if we watch this game and then Tatsuko's game will be the last one, right? Yeah, well like, it's gonna be weird. Um YBY can like win this game and then choose to sit or choose is, to play. Is and winning will probably depend on yeah. how Satsuko is doing in that moment. <laughs> you know, after you lost to that bard, he's, we gotta he's say three that's out of four is this stage. A set. <laughs> yeah, the problem with YB's board right now is like um he doesn't have a consistent damage source because Huey is just AoE and can't like single target burst anyone yeah. besides Wukong, well, right? Like yeah. if Wukong dies, he can't beat the Bard player or the Volley Bear player, so he needs to work on um making some more carries. He's gonna set, like he put Lissandra and his team planner is gonna prioritize it to deal with the three stars. Yeah, yeah. some single target damage. Oh. I mean yeah, the the, the Lissandra's for displacement to throw the Tom Kench to the back and then you just beat everybody else instead of him absorbing a million damage. Yeah, I mean, I think he's going first. Like, he, he did just lose, but he's also 60 gold. Yeah. yeah. He, could, he could take this Aurelia, right? And then play it over Janna? Or is 4 Dragon Lord too strong? I mean, you need Aurelia. Aurelia definitely not better, on. but Aurelia really too. When's it stunned? 4 or 5? 4. 4. Oh, then I think that would be good. Key yeah, this three? is like Aurelia 2 at 10. I feel like you hold it because you just like... He's a, remo he's a remover, right? So if it's like... Or really too, he can just play multiple carries. He fought he fought this person before, right? This is Yeah, the, he uh, beat this person last time. The the orange yeah. two is not strong enough. You need Thresh three to hold on to this. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this Wukong's a monster. Look at him just chonk the bat. Oh my god, that fell out of skin in his ass. Look at the donation. 
Have a nice day, less than four. <laughs> less than four. Wait, put that in the calculator. How close is that to a heart? <laughs> <laughs> One Malphite off as a heart. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. That that Malphite really messes things up. Okay. Nice. Oh my oh goodness. My Do we want Rakantu oh. instead of Sarakatu here? Or does he just want the immediate power? Your character is like Rakantu's a big diff, and he'll live to it. Yeah, maybe he doesn't want to wait. But he, he also can print it after. Anyway. Okay, question. What is those things in the top right? It says like 11 out of 20 Jazz, 13 out of 20 Guardians. Oh, how, many times he, how many times he's played in the past It must be old, though. <laughs> oh, that's probably when he played from the last boot Wait. camp, right? Oh, yeah, 7 out of 20 Riot symbol. That means 7 out of his 20 games he high rolled. Holy. <laughs> got the more dog blessing. <laughs> Wait, doesn't he need a spark here? Yeah. Yeah, spark looks good. Oh, on Udyr. Oh, I like it. He can gonna run the in the back. Yeah, yeah and then wait. Yeah. Oh my god, he's so smart. Now I know that Satsuko is the name of a Japanese actress. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wait, H. June from the advanced category queued into Satsuko. What? Oh, oh, I mean, it's it's basically, no one was in his NMR band, so they just had to reach into anybody. I wonder how bad that might affect his winnings, or, or I guess his losses That's too, right? That's bad for no, I mean, that's pretty normal, like, for, uh, well, someone in the game to that That's good for if he can win. Yeah, you oh, need yeah, a lot of LP. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, H-Tune is at 165 LP right now and needs to beat 230. Wait a second. So. I played Does with H-Tune yesterday. Oh, kind of close, kind of close. Wait, I don't know if he can kill oh, his oh, dodged it. He dodged it. He's like, yeah, he's not rolling. Oh, I mean, please. you're not rolling, man. Sandra. It's, 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 it's kind of on you. You're not rolling. He's going 10, bro. He's going 10, he's going 10, he's going 10 baby. 10. He's, got, he's got three lives. Six is perfect interval, so I think waiting and making sure you hit your... You know, it's a little bit more. We did sense. print the Soraka. It's, it's an extra nine gold. Yeah? Oh, we got oh I'm not... Yeah, yeah, I, I'm, a, oh, yeah. I'm okay with that. Yeah, yeah. He hit, he oh, hit. There, oh, there it is. is. Oh, Sandra. Sandra. You gonna sell it? Wow. I'm down. I I really with no items doesn't really do much. Do you, you um? Would you have you guys magnetic like orn items on Udyr before or no? Orn items. I, I feel like they're better no. on orn. Mm -hmm. Items are really he's, bad on Udyr. You want Udyr to be missing an item too if he's next to orn, right? I mean, he's gonna dive in the back anyway. Might zoom but... in the back though, but orn yeah. turns tank items into more tank or more items, whereas Udyr would just like kind of takes the items and runs in and then leaves the rest of the team to die. Pot Man, is so true. I love Wukong, this is my favorite unit. I yeah, I think he's so fun to watch. He's one of the coolest designs. I, I love like legendaries that have like multiple abilities. Oh yeah. I've never seen the Wukong like scale off like where he hits the whole map. That'd be cool. Everything's always dead by then. Oh, this, this is like insane. staff grow longer or something. Oh interesting. No, Silas was my favorite four cost. Yeah, he needs to Wukong's my favorite here. unit. Oh, oh. oh really? Yeah, Wukong's Wukong pretty, cool. pretty cool. I think I like the legendary designs. He probably had like the most put into him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Irelia. Sorry. Yeah, Irelia is unreal. She is yeah. so fun to watch. Unreal, yeah. yeah. Wow, that that's really uh... interesting. The way he tracked his positioning. It's really yeah, hard because he's on like, team too. It. Said yeah. Buko can't beat Goat TFT. It was the donation. <laughs> <laughs> Said Buko. He chose Dryad over. Uh, Lissandra. I mean, no, he just needs. I mean, he also kind of just needs us. Uh, uh, he's he's mm. taking in Lissandra for Tom Kench, but against this, he just kind of needs to get things in the way for Tristana. That Tristana did not want to live. Did you see that? She just yeah. dived into the back <laughs> and just like got exploded. Yeah, this Orn doesn't die. <laughs> pumping up value is insane. Yeah, I don't even think the Orn's health ever even went down. He's chilling. Yeah. Anything good here? Fortune. Fortune. <laughs> Probably guard breaker. Something for Udyr. Crown guard's also good. Crown guard. Oh, what's he going? I don't even oh, know. Oh, he's going in a circle. I and mean, I like ah. crown guard in these kinds of situations. Yeah, agreed. Because both mm. TFT diamond two and out box box. What? I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> true. So I kind of thought so uh, true. crown guard was gonna go in Rakan, but this is fine too. Udyr. Oh, actually, Udyr is better because he's a bigger threat to Tristana. I see. I see. <laughs> Tristana did not want to live last fight, though, that's for also, sure. Also, you know, I the shield that's, a lot better. That's partially what uh, I think Azir does, because he's, like, stacking soldiers in different locations. It's messing with Tristana's jump, I think. 
Oh. There's also two synergies compared to zero as well. That is true. Yeah. Even though like they don't like dread doesn't matter that much. Like you said, it's only three hundred health, but it's still something. This Orn is just like I don't think he's died in so long. This fight, like he just doesn't. It's not happening. And like you can't reach the way. Yeah. I mean, this is wraps. There's no way. Yeah, I think he's big chilling. The one one. Wow. Dude, oh, two sick. one one. Two one one clutch. My goodness. Damn. Yeah. It's like wow. exactly what he always, is. This guy is not dead. He can always count on YBY to give us a show. He did this last time too. On the last day, he climbed 200 LP to make it yeah. very close. Love it. I love that print for two gold. They might make the diff. And he's Lissandra paired now. I mean, I don't know if he needs Lissandra. The Lissandra's only to answer the Bull Bear, right? Yeah. But I, I think he might plug it in still over the zero, right? So. If, if he hits Lissandra too. I feel Dude, I like uh, Ramkev is not trying. Yeah, okay, never mind. I was like, Ram Ramkev's not really trying to reposition. But I don't even know what, what he really he do? has outside of Lee yeah. Sin. There's just only so much that uh, Tristana 3 and Volibear 3 can do. Yeah, this board is yeah. absurdly capped. Like, he's, he's yeah. The the key position unit is Lee Sin in this matchup alongside Volibear. Because you can try to, like, have their stuns and mana reef really impactful. But you can't do anything to this board. Yeah. yeah he just I mean, look how many units are alive here. He's, he's, yeah. Okay, My that's a first. Wow, Let's that's see how first. much he gets. So he's officially Yippee. ahead. Dao bang. Setsuko is at 1154 Wait, LP. What is Ban Dung? What? <laughs> well, he doesn't need to play, play again, right? Because Setsuko can only get one game. And even if Setsuko goes first, he'll be behind. One, one seven Wait, seven. No, Setsuko gets first Setsuko at 1154 goes, yeah. LP. He he passes them. I will play. 1177. So when they get about the same, when they get about the same amount, and he started 20 behind. You're saying why why can't catch up? Basically, no. Setsuko is ahead. No, I'm saying Asa. even if Setsuko. Oh, oh, Setsuko was ahead. Setsuko right was ahead. Yeah. Oh. He, he, he was ahead. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now he's slightly okay, okay. behind. Okay. Yeah. Setsuko is what like 23 behind. Oh, it's uh, it's yes. Yorick encounter. Setsuko seven is 23 behind. Oh, so, seven units. Oh, fuck. This Ooh. is a very interesting, like, end of boot camp scenario where if Setsuko is going to top two, then YBY should queue it up. It, he probably is supposed to, like, wait, watch the game, see if Setsuko's top twoing. I mean, he's, he's playing Fortune right, with the seven, the seven unit encounter. I actually is. remember last boot camp I played in YBY's final game and he went eighth. <laughs> Damn. It was you. You reached through. Wait, Satsuko's going all out. He brought out the mold diver. Are there any stakes for uh -huh. H Like, is there are stakes for H Chin? Um, he yeah. H Chin can no longer get first because he is seventy LP behind, but oh. he can get second with a third place or better. Satsuko's fortune is by the way five turns. So it's four turns from now. Uh, let me take a look. H Chin is currently in second because it's a fifteen LP lead. LP. By the way, yeah, wait, fifteen wait. LP lead between H Chin and third. Can you not get so, 43 LP? Hshun is only 43 LP. No, he needs, like uh, he needs like 15 LP. Um, oh. If Hshun gets third or better, he gets second place in the advanced category for $1,200. So this game is actually very high stakes. It, it, it's funny that it's like Hshun versus Setsuko, not Setsuko <laughs> versus YBY. Yeah. Hshun's <laughs> been queuing into uh, these lobbies all day and... I, I was watching his stream and watching some of his climb, and he's just like, why am I keep getting mash against all these, like, uh, top challenges players? <laughs> I mean, he's 200 LP. What's he expect? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. He's very high up. Like, what rank is he? He's got, yeah, like, he versed top, like, the... 125. He versed yeah. Malala, like, two games in a row. Yeah. Hshun is basically, like, high challenger right now, which is yeah. insane. I mean, it's, Wait, it's not like there's 125 yeah, so. people constantly I see, I playing see above him. That's like you know that that's how people feel when they are just, they're playing Rust and they run into H June and he's got an AK oh, at 30 yeah. minutes and a wipe and he's they're just like what is this man and like yeah you know, exactly so what happens bro I don't know hey so did sure, you know when sure. I looked you up like uh you're only if this is accurate you're only 36 behind did you not feel like it oh Wait, you trying to pass Spencer time. yeah uh I mean sure fuck it why not I'll play. Oh, oh shit! shit. Oh, no, oh, stream shit. your POV to us? Oh He's man! I'm win. actually a bit sad. I lost two snapshot slot spots, uh, a... which ended at 10, 10 p.m. today Pacific. But that's okay. Wait. It is what it is. Asa, if you're playing because of the prize list, I need to let you know that's a typo. Yeah, third, fourth, no uh, diff, but no, oh, I just third, my, my, my pal Spencer for fun. You might as well okay, just do okay. it. 
You yeah, might as well. Like, yeah, you there. might as well, right? I mean, the fact that you, you can say you were third is is very. You impressive. might as well. Like that's yeah. like the GFT mindset. Like as long as you're top four, it's funny. It, it's one more like, game. Just yeah, I mean, it, it, also, yeah, it's, it. Difference between saying you top you four and you got you third. Should've, you're, you're also, should've I, I respect Y V Y a lot. I, I think I cannot overemphasize how impressive it is. He's playing on pain, but like I want Sesco to win, so I, I want to do well against Y V Y if he's in queue. Oh, in-Q. we oh, send in our no. man. The, the agent, agent dude. Imagine yeah. if you beating YBY made the difference. So you just lost this <laughs> man. <laughs> Ultimate wingman. It just happens to be playing the same comp. YBY the in specialist is watching the stream right now. I don't know if he's in queue or not. Actually, he might Did be. Oh, yeah, he might be watching to see if he needs to queue. Yeah. 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 That's what he's oh. saying. Oh. He's Fortune leaking like, specialist, yeah. and he hits a Galio on five. Oh boy. Wait, what he's actually beast. playing for the win out. Yeah. That's, that's but you go into YBY. Make sure you play the game normally without any. Yeah, I'm not yeah. gonna grieve yeah. him, obviously. I don't think he leveled, up, by the way. He leveled here, but it, he couldn't put in an extra unit because of York encounter, right? So he just leveled yeah. the shop odds. Uh, oh, he probably that forgot. Might be just be like a habit. Yeah. But do you think it's yeah. worth losing one gold for the shop odds no, or no? No, I think he it's... forgot. Yeah, I, I would have forgotten as well. This encounter is so rare. Yeah, when I played this Little encounter, while. I forgot as well. Sure. <laughs> Dude, have you ever got the Bard encounter oh. and then pumped four EXP? <laughs> no, no, I've never had. done that. Tiny Titans and Annie, so they're gonna I have... I've absolutely done that. Big cash out. <laughs> Someone else is I playing mean... Fortune in the lobby, by the way, and so uh, it's, it's gonna be yeah. kind of difficult. He has to kind of weigh how much he wants to sacrifice HP, because he's killing units, but he has to weaken his board significantly. Sessica is so good at like killing the right amount of units. Yeah, yeah. It's like his superpower. I feel like that's it's the hard. thing he's best at. He's, oh, that's he, he scouts, looks at every board for like one second, and then he's just like, okay, I'm too strong. He like takes that one unit. Yep. His board recognition is really, really good. It's partially why he actually starts slow a little bit sometimes, and that's he, he kind of takes he takes time to like ramp up and download everything. He's not gonna be like forcing one com to like. 500 LP challenger. He's gonna like try to play and really understand intuitively like how strong boards are like as and get like a tactile response to it. Would that be the play? You just do normal games and save your five like plus 300 games or whatever. You need people trying really hard. You need people trying hard. You can't just like uh, play. Oh, normal. you can't just like um, yeah. <clears throat> I was curious. I was curious if he was gonna upgrade or not. I guess he decided his board was weak enough. That, that could be insane. You just get eight hundred players, and they just really oh, try in houses. Like yeah. yeah, you do an mm. in house, and then that way you can everyone gets a head start, but then you can get a lot better. You know, it's got to be this encounter with fortune, and then trying to sack and not lose too much. It's got to be so difficult. Like I'm, yeah, yeah I'm impressed. He's not lower health. So much more damage. Yeah. Wait, what were you I'm, saying about the? Ever, uh, giving everyone else a head start. My Discord crashed for a second. Uh, I was just saying, um, because you get like 200 LP for like your placement games. Like he, he was just saying that Setsuko like takes some time to learn. So I was thinking you could just learn in normal games with other challenger players and save your like save your super games, I guess, until you know the set well. But everyone uh, likes. To I don't know for your placements. Important. I think it's more important to play. I you actually play. think it's really important to get on top of the ladder really early. I actually think that's really important because otherwise you're not playing yeah. with the top well, players and then you're behind in the meta. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't know. No, I. I. I agree. I was just thinking, um, like what the solve would be if you're like a slow starter. Oh yeah. yeah. No, but yeah. I, I think like oh. everyone, like he didn't even hesitate. Push the yeah, lock. like you gain, oh, you gain less awkward. LP short term, but long term you learn way faster if you're playing with the top players. I see. I see. Okay. Well, he doesn't want to love. He doesn't want to upgrade this, right? Because he doesn't want to win. Also, yeah, maybe. he 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 doesn't want to get too much stronger now. Yeah, I think he'll still upgrade it. Um, he can just put it in the back row or put his Ari in the front if he needs to. Also, YBY not in game, has not committed still? yet. Really? Well, he would still be in queue. He, I right. don't know. I didn't he, see he, him. He, even, if he, even if he queued him immediately, he would probably still be in queue. Yeah, I didn't see him queue. I don't know if he did. He, he would, said he went he would, he would last game be last boot camp, right? Well, I'm in queue, and he would definitely be in my game. So, I'm watching his stream on my other monitor, and YBY is watching Setsuko, so he's probably yeah. just like gauging it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's waiting. Well, he, he hovered the timer recently. He yeah, hovered the timer the and was like, you know, I have enough time for a game, basically. Oh yeah. Well, Rush like, again. like, when do you think he's it's the latest three, he's looking for like three. Oh no, six! Oh no! That's the worst, that's the worst. 
Oh no, YBY is gonna win. I feel like after that. Wait. Oh no. A six, dude. YBY's chat is going crazy right now. Oh yeah. They're so my happy god. That he got a six. Yeah. Also, holy crap! No YBY's viewership has skyrocketed. It's triple his normal numbers. What's wow. it at? They're all so happy. They're all freaking out over the six. Yeah. What's it at? I'm pretty sure he won. Like six thousand years. Oh, yeah, fifty-five hundred. When they added a literal roll of a dice to TFT. Dude, that's crazy. Oh, the highest stakes roll, man. Oh my god. If the Setsuko pulls nah, off the catch out, though. Nah, it's all good. Uh, play, play, he's gonna get kissed by Ari. It's so hard. Setsuko has to kill, like, exactly, like, four units every single round. Yeah. Like, Dude, every this round. Is a bad loss. This is a bad loss. That was a bad loss, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. no I, think, I think he's fucked. There's no way. Yep. Ain't no way. No, nah, yeah, there's I a mean, way. You're, you, you're forgetting you're one important thing. You are not queuing now, right? Like, this, you're, this, this, yeah, this is TFT, man. No. There's no, no way. I mean, there's, there's technically a chance, right? Yeah, there's, there's, of course there's to, a chance. He has to get, like, one or two unit losses five times in a row. Well, that's the beauty or, of encounter. Or he hits uh, an encounter that gives him more HP. He has one or the yeah. other. And he can also, oh, he can also just, like, uh, lose two more times and win a couple more after that. Oh, great. Is this wait? Is there still another fortune player? I know someone mentioned earlier there was. I mean, probably. I mean, it might the person be the person who's thirty-one HP right now. It, it's not thirty-one. Is the fine vintage guy he just fought? Mm. Oh, okay, okay. It's somebody higher. I don't know who it is. He has to go to eight. Oh man. The one into six. That's that's the one too. Oh, blue. I like it. Yeah, oh, yeah, if you got a six immediately, it actually would have been okay. Yeah. Oh, God. He basically got, like, a seven, yeah. All right, I got a game of YPY. It's not in it, so... Yeah. I'm pretty sure he's not playing. I think so, yeah. He's probably sitting. Uh, I mean, I'm if... looking at his stream. He's he's watching. He's really happy right now. I mean, now. he needs yeah. to... He, he, he just has to sit down and just relax. This was the fortune player. He's not playing it anymore. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, Is that there makes an augment you can hope for here? I don't think so, right? God, that chaos! Can, can you not get uh, tiny titans or whatever? No. Uh, last one. No. Wait, should I get one more? Can, can call the chaos get health? No, no I can't. Mm. Uh, no, but can give him gold. They can give him gold and let, let him fast nine, which is what ultimately that, that's a that's a, that is a bailout, I think. Wait, can, can it give random special. emblems? Can it give it can. fortune it can give and then four, get seven it can fortune? Give him four random emblems as well. Ooh. Oh, if it gives him no wait, yeah, fortune. Yeah, he can get he <laughs> can just get fortune <laughs> emblem right now, right? And then that'll yeah. heal him. Yeah, I just uh, get that. No, I think you can get the seven. Oh, gold. That's bad. Okay. That's really bad. Bulk? Maybe reinforcement. Reinforcement to Galio 3. Okay, yes. never mind. Exactly. <laughs> reinforcement oh. Galio 3. Wait, you, you say that as a joke, but actually, that actually would have been seven. The if and he then had you, more, you get one off your one more Galio. It's not it. <laughs> you get one no. off your this is not a box box YouTube video, okay? This is, uh, this is a game that's happening. And it right can now. be. The encounter be. If you believe rounds. hard enough. He heals three per round. He gets nine HP. Oh, God. So he's like 41 HP right now. Sort of. Before the encounter. But the encounter has to be exactly HP or gold. Otherwise, he's in such big trouble. I mean, he's already in big trouble. <gasps> yeah. He can also, like, barely touch nine, I think, in... um. After the carousel, I think if he sells a couple units, he can touch nine and then use 30 gold to roll. This transition is going to be extremely hard as well. Yeah, yeah, he has to basically not mess up and hit. Yeah. Okay. Oh, man. Kill that Aatrox. Kill that Aatrox. But the yeah, answer is not a bad loss. Okay. I mean, <clears throat> as far as things go. Uh, <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't look like he has three lives left. Oh, he, 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 he does have three lives left, I think. Yeah, he's effectively 32 HP right now. 32 HP. It, it, it could... Oh my god, he could get it perfect and be like literally like one or two HP. Yeah, it could happen. Oh, he's probably not rolling he at all because he wants to go 9 next round. He just needs to not take a 6-0-7-0. If he takes a 6-0-7-0, I think he's dead. Oh, well, he'd have to go 9 and win. Win 2. Yeah. 54 the cash out. I There's so a pretty good chance he goes nine and wins right now. Like I just need to see the BPM on his heart at the moment. <laughs> Dude, at the beginning of the watch parties, we thought that the pro category was like set in stone and nothing was gonna happen. 
Wait Who'd a sec. This? this guy's not strong at all. Wait, I can never Does he have seven faded? No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. No. Oh, man. If he he's orange too. He can kill a couple of these small... Wait, what's, what's our units? Come on. Kill. A gem. No, the gem pokes. Wait, Zoe. Zoe. Zoe might get the kill. Oh, oh, no. God. That's oh. bad. That was bad. That he was has bad. to win. Well, he can actually he, still lose. He can one live with exactly He has one. to win the final round. Honestly, they're still in a counter. They're still in a counter. Wait, isn't this actually pretty good? Because he'll take like a 12 damage loss and he'll be at 15 HP. Here. And then he just has to win the final round. It's actually looking good. Is it? Is uh, it under the window? It's kind of hard to win the final round with Fortune in. He's at 73. He can win twice and still be at 50. Oh, yeah. He can, he can, he can, he can do it. He can touch nine right now if he sells something. But yeah, um, the, I checked. The fortune does give you three HP at the round start. So he will be at 15 here. Yeah, so he's going to oh live to the encounter. It all comes down to this. What can he do with 30 gold in a dream? Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, he's going. He's oh, he's going to level? Yeah, because he, 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 he can just win these next two fights. If he does, I think he's home free. Oh, yeah, he gets gold for, for going to nine. That's right. Yeah, he has like game special. Oh, Find an Irelia or something, something that wins you the game. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! What? 82 is big. 82, 82 is very big. That is very oh, big. So the Zoe. Holy. Over the Zoe. Uh, oh, he has, to, he has to play the. He has to play Zoe. Yeah, oh, yeah, fortune, you're right, yeah. he needs to play for fortune. You're, yeah, you're right. You're right. I would have thrown the game. Wait, why the is he not at 15 HP? <laughs> Wait, opponent has. So this guy's strong. With no items and Athelios oh, yeah, two with two items. Okay, yeah, no. They seven faded. This is not good for Irelia. Two more units. Actually, one more unit. Killing some. Okay. He's the Annie items are really good. Yeah, the Annie's putting in work. They're, They're chilling. Win. This is this a win. Dude, the Annie two is such a big hit. He's front. He stabilizes his front lines so much. Oh my God! Wait, Satsuko's gonna win. Okay. Oh, gotta win. Win out, though. Okay, sixty-five. That's good. fine. That's fine. And encounter. And econ. YBY, queue it up. Random five cost. Ooh, random five cost. Okay. Hold on. Wait. Oh, wait. What is that guy? He gets the paint. He gets the paint. Listen. Oh, oh, what is this shop? What is this shop? Wow. A level shop. nine starter pack. Can he can he go to um three fortune now and just like start playing good units? Uh, he needs to get the Zoe in. He could. Like he might want eight. the three HP though to win because because eighteen is a big jump from fifteen. Mm -hmm. That is fair. That is three higher. But he needs to win. <laughs> With it's one or two lives. I mean, his board got way better, but the yeah, the what, yeah. cues right now. Does he get? Yeah, he can make it. He can finish. Okay. If he cues right now, and I, oh, I think Setsuko's gonna go top two. I mean, he I'm not so confident. It, it's gonna come I'm down to confident. like the next uh, two turns. Uh, oh Holy, no! This guy is sitting here, forty gold. Is this guy oh, just he's dead? Up fine vintage. Fine vintage before stage five. Nah, this 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 guy is is not that strong. Oh yeah, no. There's like. Oh my god! You can take a good there. loss here. Uh. Oh, it's so close! Oh! <laughs> oh Six god! HP. Six HP. I mean, at least it's PVE now. He has two turns. Uh, uh, if, if it was the other way around, lose win. He'd be at seventy, and the seventy cash out's like an instant win. He locked. He locked. And the cash out. Yeah, he has a lot of time. Imagine if he hit clicked push your luck. Okay, fine. Oh, he needs more bench space. Fawn is insane value yeah, at nine. Yeah, 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 yeah. This, yeah, this, this is, is his comfort zone. He knows exactly what to do. This is where he cooks now. Four costs. Oh, he yeah, has Aurelia. Really, yeah. <laughs> oh, there's like, okay. Yeah, Fawn, like, okay, Fawn on level nine boards this set is like crazy because of how good, yeah. uh, like, team buffs are. Yeah, so many team wide buffs, yeah. Yeah. Can you, if he, he always, no, also if his exalted is good, if his exalted is good, he's oh. also really good. Oh, he sold the Bart Recon. Nice. He sold it out fast. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, That's good. That's really big. Pairs. So many pairs. You can it's bench the Viper weird. now. You have the spirit. You might want to. Yeah. I mean, playing two Hoys is. It's two Hoys. Oh, not bad. Okay, not bad. Three Dragon Lord. I feel like we have a damage problem. We yeah, do, we do, we do. <laughs> We're stuck on Aurelia one way pair. You're better, you're better. You're so much better. And I really a pair. TG. You get TG on bench to see the. Okay, he's gonna do it. Yeah. <clears throat> Decap. Oh man. Dude, this shit is so slam the phone, nerve wracking. Slam the phone. Slam, yeah, slam the, the tactician's crown. Yeah, three, three AD, three AD. 
Keep her going. He's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. The bard. Bard two. It's bard two. Yeah. The bard can't Wait, kill the so deer. Okay, oh go. man. I feel like he would have won this round if he oh, slammed the fawn. Weird. Okay, why do I need to queue? I think. <laughs> yeah, he he just queued up. He queued up. Oh, That's he's queuing it up. Oh, man. Oh, 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 really two. Oh, I really had two. Oh if I God. saw a really two, I would click queue now for sure. Yeah, I would. Oh, queue. Oh, 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 I mean, yeah. Why do I oh, not have, have enough time game. though? Yeah, I think you can still lose with this board. Oh, he totally shit. can, he totally can. To you queue it up just in case. Can. He can, that way he can decline if he needs to. But. <laughs> yeah, and Wait, when's the it cutoff, in the cutoff is 12.05. It's not exactly midnight. It's because of we, we synced our oh, cutoff to when okay. Riot does the challenger cutoff. Oh. So oh, okay. you actually have like 40 minutes. If he gets oh, into a game in the next like three minutes, there's enough time. Wait, let's is see this team of three in action. This guy's two off Silas three. Oh shit! Oh, right. Wait! Oh my god! A Silas three would ruin Setsuka. Well, that Udyr is just knocking up the team. Uh, I don't know. Silas three is not that good, and this one has a blacksmith glove on it. <laughs> Timo, Timo three is also. Oh, that person's good. not living too. Yeah, Timo three is awful. Yeah. That guy's gonna die. That person's gonna die. What if we get the duplicator right here? Encounter. Oh yeah. Oh it can man. Be. Working out with Set. Hell. HP is huge. Them. Yeah. Oh, 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 so oh, God, so oh really I take that. I take that. Holy. Yeah, it's good. I mean, that was what, what item would you look for, though? Runans. 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 Items Wait, for uh, for Irelia. Items for Irelia. Yeah, maybe a Titans and then know, a full yeah. item. What's the best? Yeah. I think Runans is the best Irelia item. Sword. Deathblade. Right, I think okay, Deathblade, yeah. Works. Edge of Night. Titans. Deathblade Titans. Is it Titans? Uh, I need a tank item. Oh, I guess you can just do a tank item. Fast heart. Yeah, yeah, three, two with Orn. Two with Orn. Oh, he's going to wait and see again? Oh, no. no. Uh, I don't think there's any other option, personally. <laughs> yeah, step fast, 100%. Yeah. Oh, you, oh this is okay. a losable matchup. Yeah. Faded is Orm. very against Aurelia. Oh, he's oh, cracking right? so fast. The four dragon lord. Yeah, you got through the front wow. line. Yeah, okay. Uh, wow. What the fuck? Okay. I thought the front line Wait, was Wait, guys, kids are still alive. Wait, hold hold up. Up. <laughs> I guess I really I don't care. It's a lit out. Oh, Wait, man. H2 is helping him kill people. Gun Blade. Hey, the face this game. Gun, yeah, Gun Blade is really in What do we got? Oh, Wait a second. Gunblade. Red buff. Red buff. A red oh, red buff. Red buff. You good items. He has Morello. I feel like Gunblade's insane, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Gunblade's like insane. Insane. The abyss. Oh my god. One more turn for Huey. Oh wait! Itchun! If he gets top three, Itchun uh, wins $1,200. Oh. I know we we're like watching the race to rank one, but like this is also mm -hmm. still kind of big for him. Yeah. yeah. Fighting for his yeah. line. Oh, oh my oh. god! Oh. That's huge! That's so huge! Oh, wow. He's gonna bring it home. Yeah. Also, these Udyr oh items are like pretty decent as well. Wait, question for the uh, the good people on the call: When do you second row Rakan, and when do you first row him? I think he'll make it. First row, he's, he's really tanky. Yeah, as long as he's two star, usually front row, just sway cast. He wanted to cast. Uh, me up. Well, I wasn't asking you guys. I was, asking, I was asking the good people on the call. So I mean, I am. Sorry. <laughs> Depends on how handsome you think he is. Oh, he's <laughs> dashing, and I and I also like that right next to Orn, so he gets that. Yeah, item. second row then, so he's closer to me. Oh, 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 or you can just walk up a, in the front. Wait, so you're in the back, Sajin? Oh yeah. Why do Y is not in a game yet? Uh, did he queue? Did we? Did, have oh, you yeah, have confirmation he queued? I'm not sure. I, I, I no, didn't see yeah, him no, I, I saw him in queue. Okay. Oh, the way too. Unless he exited queue, he should be waiting for the game. You could get in. What if H two? Oh my god! Oh my god! You guys! Oh my god! He might have too late. And H two executes him though. Like what if? What if he's the hero? Oh my gosh! He just shows up with AK double headshot dead. Why do I want is not in queue anymore? The nail gun. Wait, why? He just queued. He just pressed Q. What? He might. He might have reset his queue because he feels like he's not getting a game. That's really if sitting in your queue, make you get a game faster. If he resets his queue, I don't think he's getting a game in time. Yeah, yeah you he, need to let the queue go long fresh right because now then it pressed queue. I don't think he's getting it in time. I think it's oh, gonna man. be at least five minutes for him. Yeah, because uh, once you get to six minutes in queue, the queue widens and it matches you up against like a wider range of opponents.
Yeah, like yeah, you have to get to six minutes to like be able to play a match at high elo. Oh man, he's oh, beating every board God. down. This is a win out. I Wait, today's been insane. Like so many one HP yeah. comebacks. That was wild. Okay, I just saw it. YBY is in queue for four minutes. Okay. okay. It's gonna be he's so close. Queue for four minutes, I think. If he gets in, so am I behind on it? If he gets in and gets Lethal Legends, he can maybe win. Oh my God! Can imagine counter. Lethal Legends. Oh, <laughs> They're yeah, yeah, counter. I was, yeah, I was behind. I was four minutes behind. My B. That would be the only way. Imagine Kane encounter or Lethal Legends, yeah. So, if he gets in a game, <laughs> uh, there's there's 36 minutes until, uh, yeah, 36 minutes until mm -hmm. eliminations, and his average TFT game is about 38 minutes. Okay. Mm. Maybe like, so much, right? He, he did it. have a first place in 36 minutes. He needs a game like right now. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It will depend on if Setsuka gets first or not, though. Yeah, first or second. Because YBY could also get like a fourth and forfeit, but that's like only a couple minutes saved. Yeah. I guess it depends, but yeah. That one. Born. I, do you want to give Born. the you want you want to give the M through a con, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. It, it's like no way. No. Uh, way. His board looks so strong. I don't know what the other boards look like that could do anything to this, but his board, I I don't know. The other boards look. I mean, the only board I think yeah. they can keep compete is probably isn't there another fast nine board? <laughs> Maybe. Ooh, seven faded board. No, nah, this, this, this is Thresh 2. Thresh yeah. 2. You can't, he, like no, he can't do that. Gone. This person, he, he crushed this person last time. This person's dead, I think. Yeah, yeah, the guy's mm -hmm. dead. The funniest outcome would be if h June comes in with a steel chair, that, that's what I'm saying. Five <laughs> oh, and man. wins. Oh, apparently, YBY oh. canceled the queue. Oh, wow. Really? He gave? He apparently went to sleep, according to chat. <laughs> oh, my God. Keep it down. Ray, shut up, dude. Wait, wait, you're trolling or? I'm just yes. reading the chat. I'm reading the chat. <laughs> yeah, so he's still live. He's what waiting to you know, when I Wait, there, there's the literally five people in Boxbox's box chat said he gave up. Am I getting one guide? Dude, they're fucking on us. You're getting five guys. I'm getting five guy burgers and fries. A bag of fries right now. <laughs> Let me just put oh, it straight, no, right? wait. His client was close. Oh. Sorry. It might feel All like right. he can't. Get in a game in time. Yeah, maybe he just like, thinks he doesn't finish. have time. Maybe he doesn't he's... know about the 1205 thing. No, he's trying to re queue, it looks like. Guys, let's focus on the game here and then and, and, and handle that after, I guess. <laughs> oh, H June, H June? Wait, what is H June even doing? H June? Is he Wait. going third or fourth? This is really big for H June. Oh. No, he oh. went fourth. Oh. We got fourth. Oh. Wow! Oh my god! Two unit kills uh, off of. I mean, I, th th that has to be it, right? That's yeah, a sad gotta story be a for us. Dude, what an insane, uh, insane game! This is insane. I, I, I can't... Yeah, I mean, this is—he's the best at this, so he is like actually the best at this. This is unreal. Man, the six on the die, that is bonkers. Oh yeah, yeah and but he still he, handled he's it. so good at assembling level nine boards and then like capping though that like I'm I'm not even surprised. Like he's. I don't, he does yeah. it every game. I felt like the moment he uh, like reached nine, as long as he like didn't lower his roll down, he was gonna win the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like the moment just... he hit Irelia. Oh, I, I was yeah. not confident until he hit the Cho'Gath. The, the yeah, Cho'Gath. Cho really items, was... items, items with the Irelia. Yeah, that's well, true. He was stuck on one item Irelia for a long time. <laughs> yeah, where's the Cho'Gath <laughs> on the board? <laughs> yeah, I, the opponent is dead here. This is a first for sure. Uh, oh, That's crazy. This is the polar opposite of last time. They both oh, queued it up and they both right. like went first twice. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah, I know, right? Uh he's uh twenty actual beasts. He's twenty three LP ahead, right? So he's gonna get first and then YBY can try to get top three or four in a game if he gets lucky and it's fast. <laughs> he's he's running out of time. Encounter. Yeah, he doesn't have time. Oh my god, man. That's, that's, and, and it was Setsuko versus YBY last time as well. So the back-to-back -back rivalry. This reminds me of when uh, when Dissope and uh, Robin went back like went back, yeah. to back boot camps and were going trading back and forth. Except it was, oh, uh, it was Robin that would like clutch it out. So Setsuko is the Robin songs at this moment. <laughs> GG's. Yeah. 
Jeez. Wow. Dude, this Man. is impressive. That was really awesome. Good. He's pretty good at he's pretty good. This, Maybe the sixth role. Yes, potential. This guy he looks so doomed when he got the six and then My goat. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if you've ever watched wow. the stream, oh, wow. that's so much LP God too. Damn. Yeah, a lot. Damn. Wow. All right. Man, I'm getting more dogs than Yeah, 21 LP death. TFD. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think YBY is getting it's... there. GG. Nah, he has to get watched. a second place. Mm -hmm. But like uh, at this point, there's not enough time. The, the long queue time was the deciding factor. Holy cow. Well, yeah, the long queue I... time... I think he so just he quit out chance. of his client and just didn't queue. And yeah, he, it he back sat up and, and, tried, <laughs> and tried to say, like, nah, he's going to die, and then he did it. Yeah, he said wow. not, that he's not him, right? He was like, he's not him. Um, oh, yeah. my God. Uh, that is not wait, him. Look at, look at his following uh, streamed on Twitch. He only follows three people, Setsuko, Boxbox, and Dish Soap. Three goats to CFT. <laughs> yeah. That's a good list. Damn. I mean, he queued he up anyways. Really... Yeah. Three minutes in queue. Get in there, Asa. I'm or if Setsu is a beast. Yeah, he's, yeah, dude, Asa's been playing this whole time, man. If is a beast. Um... Yeah, if I were YBY, I would queue it up just to see the what if. Maybe I didn't yeah, talk right? to and then I can be like, well, it didn't matter. Oh, it's like or when you I die and you check the carousel. Spirit. Like you check the carousel and you're like, oh, I didn't have this <laughs> anyway. I'm fine. Like, exactly like that. The, it's like the, oh, I was fine. That's good. Honestly, I respect the gamble, though. Like... That's a very difficult situation. Mm -hmm. it, it, like, it did look like Setsuka was going to go 8th and YBY just win. So, I, like, sitting was, like, totally reasonable. Even after he got the cash out. Setsuka's so queuing again. Which wow. gives him time to potentially go 8th. Like, if he goes, like, hard 8th, like, 20, 22 time, minutes. Lethal Legends 8th. Wait, no, what if he's doing he, the tactical? He no, the, he's doing the tactical decline. He's going to try to get into yeah, the game yeah, with yeah. YBY and then decline. Oh, <laughs> that's last that time. reminds me of like Lee Challengers doing the exact thing. It's so scummy. I don't think he's going to do that. No, no, he's not going to do that. He's, he's not going to do that. Right? Not in front what of him. Okay, but what if he had to use the bathroom at the same time? <laughs> oh, you can only Setsuko do that. doesn't know the rules and he's asking if. Uh, what is he asking? <laughs> Wait, a lot of people in my chat are saying he's... Oh, is he asking if the game counts if it finishes at... It's, it's the LP at 12.05. He, for... he could forfeit at 4th, and it would go through. He could go 8th, it would go through. If he went first, it would probably take too long, and it wouldn't go through. Chat is asking, they say that he asked, uh, do you hate me, and hello, <laughs> and is this even my fault? <laughs> I, I believe that one. Uh, uh, he, he definitely said those. <laughs> Do we want to watch anyone in the casual division? Is that still... Let's take a look. I think Custa threw in the towel. Are. You know yeah. you know the best part about him saying that is there's a bunch of fighting game players that love TFT and they get hit in the fighting game and go, is it even my fault? Hello? And like, I'm just <laughs> like, dude. I'm in like a, it's like so, like I'm in like a bizarre world. It's like <laughs> Twilight Zone. That's okay, fun. I just took a look at the casual division. There is a chance for Mochi Mochi to overtake second if she gets first. Oh, over Custa? Yeah, over Custa. Custa was Emerald 1, I think, right? And then he went down also. Yeah, Custa ran it down a bit. Uh, you and you. Wait, I hear him. Wait, what the? Oh, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh you. I was like, Excuse damn, Frodan, me. you got a lot of range. I was like, oh. I know. <laughs> I'm very talented. Oh. Oh, I could tell. You're a beast. And uh, it doesn't look like Mochi's in game, so I think I think it's just Wait. Kira's in game. Hmm. So Kira, I didn't even realize this, here? but remember the Ichun storyline we were following, where we said Ichun needed a, a third to win. Yep. I uh, his opponent queued up and lost, so mm -hmm. he actually still won even with a fourth. Nice. Yeah, he's at 180, and one, and third is 160. Oh, Vic? Vic TFT was at 180, and then no. I think she went 7th and 4th just now. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, Ichun actually does win. You get, you get second. Second, second. Second, second. You get second. Second, second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. second yeah. place. And then Saber grinded earlier today, got to a pretty comfortable lead, and then sat. Yeah. <laughs> not the most I've, dramatic I've seen... win, but respectable. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Saber's really good. I'm... I'm... 
I mean, if you're that far it? ahead, you should definitely just sit until somebody gets close. Seven yeah. minute queue. Oh, God. I can't to say it. I am a big YBY fan, though. I'm always rooting he's for him. He's a beast. Yeah, he's sick. He's really fun to watch. That, that, that game we watched from him earlier was, yeah, that was really great. I mean, honestly, both the games that we watched were the first that they hit back to back were really, really sick games. Yeah, very, very good game. Awesome. You the have to be. Yeah, you have to be so good to win in those kinds of spots, you know? And, like, not only do it once, but do it consistently to climb to that level, you know? He's hey, also Asa, doing this. How's your game going? On 200 uh, ping. I've not been paying attention. I'm pretty sure I'm about to go eighth. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Classic. Okay. Uh, storyline. I've been watching uh, this other game, you know? Yeah. That's me whenever I play TFT off stream. I just can't focus. I'm, like, watching something, and I tap back in, and I'm eighth. Yeah, like I'm in a call or something and I'm talking to people and I look back at my game and I'm like, oh, I'm going to die. That's yeah, not good. I just did that. I went eighth. I'm lucky. <laughs> it's so sad. I, I lost early because I got fucking sick. I got COVID day three and oh, four. No. Oh, no. Sorry, I barely get myself up to play. Oh, I got so awesome. sad. It felt like I like wasted someone's spot. <laughs> I'm like, fuck, I couldn't even play. I really like this streamer's sign. No coach, no backdooring. Yeah, yeah, I like that. No coaching or Two backdooring. rules to live by. Wait, I just got Wait, a choke it... encounter that same like. Wait, game. what's wrong with backdooring? Well, then you lose your nexus. Yeah, and then you don't fight the... <laughs> If you backdoor, you don't fight honorably against another person. You just go uh... beat up buildings. And yeah, that's like, if you want to do that, go play StarCraft, right? Yeah. Agreed. All right, I think Kira is also dead, right? So, oh, Sasuko so Shiba. Oh, oh, how about YBY? He's declining. Oh, he gave up, right? oh what? <laughs> wait, what? Uh, why is he declining? Oh, I hope it's wait, not YB... to deny a match to uh, YBY. YBY's Q popped. Oh, and oh no, he, he, it repops immediately. It repops immediately. He is in game. Yeah, oh, YBY okay. is in game. Okay, okay. Oh, right. Oh, Sasuko so ran from YBY. Just saying. Coward. Coward. Just saying. Instead, he's gonna let he's gonna let Bellum do finish the job. <laughs> Come on, Sarah. Oh, <clears throat> uh, no, Kane encounter. Sarah's gonna finish the job. What Sasuko could send the closer. Wait, is that Lethal Legends? I know that's a symbol for it. Uh, is that Lethal three Legends? Champions. Three champs. Oh. oh. Dang. That would have been insane, actually. He has 25 minutes. Yeah, there's Man. Prismatic Party, Larger Legends, and three champions. I mean, do you just like push and try to like make the lobby aggro? I mean, he just plays best anyway. We can then yeah. see the what if. Hockle oh, Bell Wi Fi. Wi -Fi. <laughs> the legend. If you guys never, uh, you guys don't know who talk about Wi Fi is, he is like a extreme one trick he actually goes out of his way to always play specifically one cost reroll every set. <laughs> True. every set. with the name with the name taco bell wi-fi i feel like that makes sense he's made it to regionals before playing doing that which is pretty impressive but also oh, he, box he, box he, he, yeah he, it's like he is yeah, one of the guys i never want in my lobby ever. mochi in your chat said thank you guys for the opportunity i had so much fun that's GG. sweet yeah she did great what place did she end up getting? Was it third? I think she's locking in third. I think so, yeah. yeah. That's very respectable. Oh, it's time for Zyra reroll. Oh, man. Oh, I really the Robin song is I've seen this. I really hope in the set 12 boot camp, YBY takes it home. I just want this guy to win so badly now after seeing how close he's come twice. Yeah. Yeah, it's not like he played poorly either. You got a 2 1 1. He has a fucking beast, one. dude. Yeah, yeah he, he does went... well in all of them. 2 1 1 into he might not barely win. losing or yeah. barely losing the event. This goes yeah. to show. Sasuko is good too. It's only like, on the it's only like server, 20 bro. LP. That's so minuscule in the grand scheme of hundreds of games. Yeah. yeah. Who's the who's the best uh, in your guys' opinion to learn off of and watch? I tried to watch this so and like for me, it. it's Sasuko. Like, do they? Uh, what uh, it, I guess it, it, I so guess what I'm asking. It depends on like, where you are on your TFT journey. If you watch Sasuko, it's gonna be really hard to replicate and like incorporate a lot of what he does because he's uh, too. If advanced. I could just ask really quick, oh. not nah, what I meant to ask is like uh, like who talks like who. Oh, there's a streamer who's really talkative. He explains his thought process a lot. His name is Froden. Really handsome dude. He has a website if you watch Froden. That's not though. true. The cam is pretty distracting, though. <laughs> <laughs> I, I meant like super. Oh, he's, doing the, he's doing the Reforger 
uh, situation we were talking about earlier with Trash Treasure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, Eternal Winter is S tier, so he likes to hold on to that. Wow, these are pretty yeah, good. Buka, yeah. what a rat. <laughs> I like that. No, also, somebody donated and asked uh, and said, Box Box, YBY wants to know if his game will count if it goes over the time. That's what. There was a donation on the screen that said that. Box Box is deafened. Oh, yeah, he's talking he's to the chat. Yeah, he, he's probably he handling something else. I think he answered that. He, just, uh, uh, yeah, he, might, he might be answering it, yeah. I died oh, he's, to he's okay. I would I would unironically say that I think more dogs are a really good streamer to learn from. If you're like a person who's still yet to hit masters, I think he he will explain mm -hmm. a lot of the game in a way that help you learn. Yeah, he talks. Actually, yeah. My first also, month playing TFT, I watched a lot of Mort Dog and it was very helpful. You Wait, should, uh, was asking for like really high elo though, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm not high elo. I'm, I'm well, because I was saying that yeah. Frodan would just be like. Well, I already, I already watched. I, I was just saying, uh, like anyone else, like, well, who do you guys watch? Because I'm gotcha, assuming gotcha. challenger players would watch each other. I see. No, they actually My... don't. It's actually really interesting. It's really oh. uncommon for top players to watch other players. Well, what, wouldn't you want to study their habits? And yeah, and said they watch Soju. Yeah, no, I watch. Oh, I mean, Soju, Soju is like everyone's most watched streamer. There are um a lot of good Twitter accounts that like take the meta and stuff like clement yeah, like clement i, I watch yeah. clement and I, some like chinese dudes they do like these math thingies i was gonna say also though if you're trying to find people to watch applies to everything as i'm sure you guys if you learn other games you should figure out how you like to play too and then find people who play your style so like when i was bad at fast nine i watched a lot of setsuko because i was like Is there well, a style i feel like wouldn't it just be like there's an optimal play at any given moment no, no, Satsuko is like famous for having a fast nine playstyle, and there's other players that are like famous for like being like level seven hard rollers or but it, level eight. Yeah, it's, it's I mean, I understand that, but I guess what I'm asking is like, is that correct in every spot? Probably not, right? But like, well, it just works for him. You, you don't know what's correct, right? It's because like in League, certain players, like, like it's junglers might like farm a lot more and other ones might gank a lot more, but like, no, you don't I, know like who's doing it right. Um, wouldn't you be able to measure that? I mean, like, if he gets a lot of copies, like, wouldn't rerolling at so, 7 be okay sometimes? I, I understand what you're saying. You're basically saying <laughs> that theoretically there's an optimal play at every right. time. And the reality right. yeah. is, and, and so theoretically, yes. And this has actually been a, a topic that's been debated several times within the TFT community. But the reality is, no, it, TFT is too hard of a game to play perfectly. Like, anywhere close to that. It's just impossible. Oh, and it's better to just go consistent. It's just better to like hone in on a certain set of skills. You need you need two. You need to be good at too many different diverse set of skills that are kind of divorced from each other in some in some ways. So yeah, the, what, the what reality is, is what you're saying is right now this generation of TFT players have sure, not gotten yeah, to yeah. a level. Yeah. We're not camera, we're yeah. too bad at the game right now. That's probably better. Yeah. Way right. That's literally. Yeah. That's why we choose to just say no yeah. Scott, no pivot. We had deafened because we, we can't play anymore. That's what I about the league example, <laughs> right? Like in theory, there's yeah. like an optimal play, but we don't know what it is. And like yeah, even also... the league is not solved perfectly yet. We're yeah. not even close, I think. In yeah, both also, we're, we're extremely also, not close at all. Also, TFT has this weird thing where if everyone has the same playstyle, then it becomes oh, the correct playstyle to play differently. Because if like everyone's contesting the same oh, angle, yes. that, that then some... yeah, it's, well, it's also like it's so. Just... So the so like the ten year olds now playing, I don't know, set twenty boot camp would probably be closer to that level. Of just like theoretically, like, yes. whoever hit, yeah, whoever hits it first, whoever gets it first, just like, yeah, I mean, the, the people oh, 10 years extreme. from now are gonna be so much better than the people now, man. Oh, yeah. I feel bad. Oh, okay. Um, one well, how's boss boss is translated. He said, YBY said, Setsuko deserved the win because he played the last game so well, uh, and then mm. he ended his stream. Damn, yeah, okay. oh, wow, Aww. but I was gonna say about play styles and stuff, and since box box is back, howdy, we were talking about learning like how to learn from people and, and things like that in this game it's it's also impossible to play good games perfectly uh because usually the design space in them is so wide that the correct decisions every game are really difficult to solve and like you know a active games are always like that with pressure and lots of choices and things so the answer is you can't play every game perfectly even if even the best players in the world 10 years from now 15 years ago, they'll play the game better but it's you can't play the game perfectly and yeah, you'll, you'll have no, yeah. I understand that there's no perfection. Um, I was just wondering, like, uh, is it so far off to the point where you just go, like, yeah, I play, like, a 9 style, or fast 9 style. Like, you just do that every time. It, it's also, the way you can think about it is you can learn each thing one at a time, too. But, yeah, I mean, like, you, mm -hmm. you just you just pick up skills over time. And, like, whatever you're bad at or you, you think you'd like playing as, I would focus on learning that first rather than, like, 
trying to be super well rounded from the start because that's too it's too difficult to do that. Really? Okay. Oh, cool. Yeah. Another thing is like the later the game goes, um, the more like the obvious decision or like the objective decision is. Like you know how we were watching Setsuko and he had the six copies of Yone. Like once you get to that point, you can start to narrow it down whether it's correct to reroll or cor uh, correct to level. But earlier in the game, it's like you're choosing like a bunch of different paths that are, none of them are necessarily correct, and it's like a playstyle of what path you want to go down. Wait, I completely disagree I, I with that. Um, Wait, really? I think later in the game, your decisions are way like more. It, sh it like, should you have, be. Like, you have more different. variables per decision. Like every shot. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I think I think what what Ray what you're describing is the way like a lot of previous sets were unfortunately like when you played like uh like hero augments or something like that for example or dragons it like forced you to play with only a certain part of the cast and you had to do that but theoretically like, in uh, tft I, I like... it's, it's a decision tree that continues to spawn out more branches the more decisions you make well, i was I saying like later like in the game when you have like less though. resources like when you're like when you start running out of gold or like like when when he went eight like level eight for example and he's like he rolled down to zero like or like rolled down to ten like at that point in the game it's like more you could kind of make a clear decision, right? Or Wait, like, there all, should be a correct decision? Wait, you also you have eight units on your board, right? and other people have eight units on their board. But yeah, I, yeah, it's like, I, I think it's like regular chess, where it's like, at the opening, you have 16 pieces, but a lot of times, it's easier to play the first 10 moves than when you have like, four pieces each. That is true, that is true. Wait, so are you, are you guys saying there's less variance, like, later in the game, or, or more? Like, which sides are you on? Because there's two... I would say it's harder to correctly play late game in TFT. Late game. Oh yeah, okay. wait, 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 wait. By a lot, yeah. Game. By like multiple factors, harder. By like a thousand times, <laughs> or even more. Early game well, is really I, important, yeah. and it's hard to play yeah. early game well, but late game right. is like, it, it's like literally like, I don't, I don't even know if there's an English word you can describe how many possibilities you can do. Yeah. I mean, like, I would say, I mean, like, I, I was ranked one like yesterday, I would say I make a mistake on stage one, more than one mistake on stage one, on average per game. Probably what's a lot more than one, one, actually. On stage one, if you don't mind me asking so many questions. <laughs> Sorry, say that again. What's what's a mistake look like on stage one? Like not ten econ or something? No. Oh, st stage one, like before you fight your first opponent. Right. Like you, right. before you can make econ. Well, I mean, um, sometimes you can't. Well, that's what I'm wondering. Like, uh, oh, uh, like not holding the right units. I see. Hello. Yeah. Hi. What's, what's up, box box? I, I've come to hijack this topic. Um. It looks like all the final matches are done, so the standings are in. Okay, uh, all right. Can you go to the main website? We can uh, we can take a look at the results now. What a spicy day! What a spicy day! Wow. Wait, why yeah. do you want? Very clutch. Uh, it, it's just the website's slow to update, but it, oh. it will be correct. Uh, there we go. Can you refresh so, it. He's at the, he's at the top. Yeah. yeah. So again, just uh, just to update everybody, uh, YBY did eventually get into game, but it, there wasn't enough time for it to finish. So he turned on his camera, he waved to his chat, and he said, uh. Well, I, Vietnamese viewers can correct me if I'm wrong. I, I just, like, read a translation from somebody. Uh, he said he, like, gives credit to Setsuko for playing the last game so well and said he deserves the win, and then said he was too tired to finish the game, and then he signed off. And then he waved goodbye to everybody. Very, very sportsmanlike. Nice. Mm. And, uh, yeah, he gave us a show. That was awesome. Uh, and it looks like the rest of the divisions are finished, so we can take a look. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and pull up the uh, prize list. So the way we do our prizes is we like to gift them in the form of subscriptions or your uh, platform's equivalent. Uh, that way your viewers can get excited with you. So, uh, Froden, you can go back to the website. I have this open on the second monitor. Okay, so uh, the fourth place of each division, we have Kira Hoshitori, he Hishotori, winning $750, Official Smiggle with $800 in the advanced, and Asa TFT, with uh, 500. Uh, 1,000. Sorry, there's a typo. <laughs> oh, what's the typo? <laughs> plus 500. I'll take it. Yeah, plus 500. Uh, yep. And in third place, we have Mochi Mochi, $750. Vic TFT, $800. And Spencer TFT, $1,000. I believe that is his best placement. He's usually like a moderate sized beast, placing like around the 10th place in the bootcamp. So this is actually his best placement by far. All right, then in second place, we have the pasta guy winning $1,000 in the casual department. <laughs> H. June clutching it out in a game with Setsuko for, uh, for $1,200 and YBY with $1,800. Then in first place, we have Boogie Mai, $1,500. 
ex FSN Saber who climbed like a beast today, then turned off his stream with four hours left, just sitting. I uh, <laughs> I respect it. It two thousand dollars for him, and in first place, uh, winning three thousand dollars, it will be Setsuko. Uh, after his game is done, maybe we can get him in it, get an interview, but I'm not sure. How is how's his game looking? Setsuko, he logged off. Oh, he closed the stream. I think yeah. All right. <laughs> Oh, okay. All right. Well, uh, maybe we'll interview him another time. Not a game. Nah, I think I think he he logged off and. and oh, went... he didn't start a game. Right, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, Sorry, yeah, I yeah. thought he started a game. Okay, people, no problem. He people then, have um... said he'd be down for an interview in your chat. Oh, he is down. All right, hope... Satsuko, if you're down, just just come join the Discord. Uh, Froden has many questions for you. What? Uh, yeah, you, yeah, you got this, Froden. <laughs> okay. Let's see if he joins. Let's wait. Let's give him like a minute. <laughs> You want me to message him? Yeah, message him. Okay, apparently he said uh, he, he just he just didn't want to stream, but he, he apparently he might come up. Okay. Can ask him if it even is his fault. <laughs> okay, I'm running into a problem. Yeah, so I just up? look up Setsuko on Discord to DM him, and oh. then it says. It says press event. Yeah. And then when like I click on the other Setsuko, Setsuko yeah. the other one also says press event. They're yeah. both named press event Setsuko. Yeah. So we can just add him in the Discord, right? Yeah, but that is a thing. Uh, a, a press event, Soju, and Setsuko like to change to each other's username a lot of time and impersonate the other play and, and impersonate the other person. <laughs> What? Like if they oh, want to complain about the game, they switch their username to like Setsuko or press event <laughs> and they complain about. <laughs> <laughs> There's an April Fools where everyone in Lobby Two changed their name to Press Event. I remember that. that. Yeah, I remember that. And some people still didn't change their username for a long time. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, while we wait, Fred, could you look at the, the viewer category? Let's see who did the well best in the community department. This is for a lot of eggs. Okay. So Inexa? again, the pr the prize for the community is interesting. Um. I'm still working on it. I'm trying to improve it. In set twelve, we might be getting something a little bit more interesting. Uh, but yes, this was the open ladder that anyone could sign up for, and you just sign up, connect your account, and list your favorite streamer. If you place in the top 64 or so, uh, then you get to... Uh, we will deliver a bunch of egg codes to your favorite streamer based on how well you did, and say it's from you. Uh, so we've got... we have like $25,000 worth... Oh! Hello? 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 Uh, Fro hello, Setsuko. Congrats on winning. Uh, Frodo has a bunch of questions for you. <laughs> okay, sure. Uh, so, Setsuko, were you nervous during the last game? Oh, I mean, yeah. Like, I thought I was going eighth. I rolled a six, which is like, I, like, I think if I rolled like a five or lower, it was like actually like my spot was pretty good. Yeah. But the six was like kind of. Yeah, Man, really I'm getting more dogged again. I got gotcha. you. Uh, what what, what, what were you gone. saying? Because we could, we went, we didn't have your stream. Like, what was going through your mind? Like, what were you saying in the stream during that time? Oh, I mean, I was just complaining about rolling a six. Like, like, like basically, I was just saying if I roll a three to five, my spot was like probably guaranteed top two, guaranteed first. Uh huh. And then two or under is like my spot's like still pretty good, but like six is like the worst possible. It is so, the worst possible. Like, yeah, I was just complaining about it mostly. Okay, okay. So did you even surprise yourself with like being able to pull out a win from there? Oh yeah, I mean, I kind of like I hit like two Aurelias and like thirty gold, which is like kind of a bailout, I guess. So yeah, it's pretty surprising. Okay. How do you feel about going toe-to-toe -to -toe with YBY again? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's kind of interesting. Like, like last bootcamp was also me and him. Um, I, I mean, I, I mean, I, I, I don't know. That, so, uh, oh, oh, fuck. Sorry, I can't talk. Like, I have a stutter. But, yeah, I don't know. That guy's a fucking beast. I mean, like, it's, like, I don't know. Like, I, like fuck, I can't talk. Oh, sorry, sorry. You're doing great. We all um, hate you. So what, what do you think, what do you think is so impressive about YBY in particular? Oh, I think he just, like, he's actually a really wide player. Like, he plays very, really flexibly. Like, he knows all, like, the outs for, like, like I feel like most players on ladder, they are not open to playing, like, like, Giga, Loose Streak, Fortune. They, like, usually just cash out when they're, like, I don't know, like, two or three lives. But, 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 but like, like, I think Fortune right now is, like, like, actually pretty skill expressive. Like, 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 to be really comfortable sacking the one life and then winning out. And I think YBY is able to do that. Um, he's also like, like, I don't know. He's really good at micro. Like he's always positions well, like he always scouts, sc scouts a lot. Uh, like, I don't know. Like he's just a solid, like all around player, I guess. 
Okay, okay. I mean, I yeah. think I think it's cool because I think not a lot of people know much about the Vietnamese server. So I, some a lot of people are studying YBY. Do you did you watch his stream? Like, are you studying other players, or are you still kind of just doing your own thing? Oh, I mean, in the past few days, I've been watching him because he's been on like my competition. But outside of that, like, I haven't really watched him that much. But from the last few days, from what I've seen, like, uh, like, uh, yeah, uh, um, like I've kind of learned a lot, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Awesome. I have a couple questions. Go for it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in this set, uh, the, the yeah. top two players were still the same, but a lot of the other players were not. People who were usually right up there with you guys were like actually like hundreds of LP below, below you. Soju is zero LP masters. Do you think there's something <laughs> Come different on, about this man. set? Come on, man. That was unnecessary. To... Oh, oh, my God. Do you oh. think there is something different about this set that makes some people learn uh, it slower? <laughs> um, I'm, I'm not really sure. I think Soju just doesn't lower. care that much, probably. Like... But I don't know about the other players. I, I mean, Soju in particular, like, he probably just doesn't care that much about ladder. Um, like, I feel like the set is, like, not that different from previous sets. Like, there's nothing that would make it, like, harder or or something. Like, yeah, yeah I don't know. Like, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Okay. Not really sure. And um, would you say that, uh, like, you just won twice in a row. Uh, two mm -hmm. boot camps in a row. It's you and YBY, one and two. Uh, yeah. Would you say, like, you guys being at the top, like, how much of this is luck? How much of this is skill? Do you feel like you're just the best and, like, you easily do it again in set 12, or do you feel like you had to get lucky as well? Oh, I mean, it's hard to say in TFT because like every set's so different. But I mean, it's I mean, it's like there's obviously like like obviously it's not all luck. I mean, there's like a lot of skill involved if we're like top two both times. Um, but like I can't say anything about set 12 because it's like entirely different set. Okay, yeah, I don't know. I, I have a I have a follow up to that. I heard you one time off say saying offhand that you were like. You think that set 11 has potential to be the best set mm. ever. Do you still feel that way yeah. one patch in? Um, and if so, why do you feel that way? Okay, so I said that initially, I think because I was hopeful that Exalted would be like in like every late game board. But I think after playing the set more, like Exalted is like, you, like you can't really fit it in most late game cap boards because like the units are just so much better than like just playing random Exalted units. Um, so I don't know if like, I still think it's gonna be the best set. I mean, it's still really good. Like there's a lot of aspects that are like fun and like that like fun and like like make each game like different. Like the encounters, I feel like I actually like like them a lot. Nice. Um, but yeah, I don't know if it's gonna be the best. Set. Like, like I don't know this exalted trait. Like you can't really fit it on like the game boards unless you just hire like the like the Huey like the Huey like the really Huey Soraka one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. How about this? Uh, w let's say a lot of people are l watching right now. Can you give one tip on what you think would help a lot of people's climb that you just see like a super duper common mistake? Oh, oh, oh that's kind of hard for me. Like I can't. Um, uh, I don't know. I I feel like. Yeah, I I can't really pinpoint one th like one thing to focus. I mean, I guess I mean I I mean what I do a lot is just play fortune, but like that's not a real like a real tip. <laughs> so okay, like yeah. I'm not really sure what to say. Yeah, sure, sorry. Sure, sure. Yeah, I don't know. Don't don't pick four costs when you <laughs> on the Alun encounter. Oh, oh oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, like like in that encounter you really want to play reroll. Like I picked four costs because there's someone playing Yone already. So I was kind of scared of playing like Yone, but yeah, like in that encounter you really want to lean like three cost reroll because it's like a lot of tempo. Right? Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh Boxlock's not out of ammo, so if you want if we want to wrap it up, we totally can. Uh yeah, I mostly just want to ask uh, what are your uh, least and most favorite parts of set eleven? Ooh, I like um that. oh i mean my most favorite part is definitely fortune i think it's really fun like it's a really fun econ trait like it's one of the, my favorite ones um but i mean my least part my uh or my least favorite part uh fuck that's kind of hard i mean i don't really have any like big gripes about the set it's oh. i mean probably like the cane like the cane encounter on 2-1 and the york encounter on 2-1 like the like, like i don't like um but like the 2-1 encounters that like completely change the game like it just feels kind of unbalanced sometimes. Oh, also this, this uh two for one two on on a two on augment prismatic augment is like really broken, so I don't like that. But like otherwise, I, I feel like it's kind of, like this set's really good. Got it. Well, don't worry, they're they're changing that. You can't get yeah. two for one on two one anymore. So. Yeah, yeah. Boom. Okay. Awesome. And uh, let me think. I guess one last question for you. Uh, a lot of people, like, I want to say, like, more than two-thirds of players are just, like, doing reroll majority of their games. Mm. Uh, but you go nine every single game. Do you feel like Fast 9 is uh, better than reroll, or do you feel like it's just your style? Oh, 
Um, I think Fast Nine just has different conditions. Like Fast Nine requires you either to have an insane early game, like full streak with like a lot of econ, or or like or like fortune early on, and you like lose streak into a Fast Nine off it. But I think in general, like reroll is just like the default line if you don't have like a giga opener and you just have to play with some like like I don't know, come to stabilize in seven. Like it's really easy to play reroll. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, okay. awesome. Thank you so much for this. And yeah. congratulations again. Thank You'll you. be receiving your subs in the next couple days. Nice okay, job, Tetsuka. So Way to rep NA again. Defend our home territory. Congratulations, yeah, buddy. Thank you. Yeah, congrats. All right, peace. Wait, what the heck? <laughs> Where is it coming from? <laughs> what? Oh. Did, did that, anyone that else hear that? That was for you. That was for you. All right. Hear what? No, we could have just pretended he was schizo or something. Okay. Okay. All awesome. right. Well, so, box I mean, box. Yeah, uh, what do we do for the last few minutes here? Mm -hmm. Countdown's still going. Uh, I just want to quickly take a look at the community leaderboard. Uh, since okay. you are free to go, uh, thank okay. you so much for doing the interview. Yep. Thanks. Get some well deserved rest. Later, buddy. Yep. Okay. So, in the uh, in the community leaderboard, let's go ahead and take a look at our top eight. The the people the names that we see here, these streamers are going to be getting a lot of eggs to be giving out to the community. The, <laughs> the names below will also be getting some. Uh, but I just wanted to highlight the top eight. Uh, David Ass getting eighth place at 300 LP. Uh, Woo! Favorite streamers Froden. Yeah, let's go, buddy. Congratulations. That's that's hundreds of dollars of eggs I for you to get out to your stream. How appropriate. Okay. And uh, Groxy 430 LP. His favorite streamer is Tlades TFT. And oh, how do I pronounce this? The letters. Edge, <laughs> oh man, just yeah, EJ. 509 LP. Favorite streamer Karum X. Aqua. Oh hey. It's him, the reroll guy. Uh, 523 LP, favorite streamer, you Jelly. Me first or eighth, 568 LP, favorite streamer, Ticharuru. Degree O, oh, favorite streamer, oh, 620 LP, favorite streamer, re replay. Darth Nub, 635 LP, favorite streamer, Wajan Iverson. And Phoenix, ah, 701 LP, that's like rank six on the ladder. Uh, favorite streamer, K3 Soju. So these eight streamers will be getting a lot, but the top 64 placing viewers uh, will be giving their favorite streamer some eggs. And I want to take this moment while we have everyone here to let everyone know, uh, everyone watching and all the streamers here, that um, in the future, uh, or this, this community bootcamp is open to everybody. Anyone can sign up. Uh, just make sure you do it like before the first round of eliminations happen. And in the set 12 bootcamp, we will have better prizes. Well, I shouldn't guarantee it yet, but I'm working on it. Better prizes, because right now it is eggs to your favorite streamer. We're working on something a little bit more tangible for your account directly. Uh, either way, anyone is free to sign up. It's pretty fun. It, every day, half of the remaining competitors are dead or eliminated from the boot camp. See how long you can survive. Uh, yeah, and prizes will scale up as you survive longer and longer. Uh, this time I didn't advertise it very well, so we had 3,000 signups, which is still a pretty hefty number. Uh, we're looking to try to double that in the next one. So I just want to let you guys all know that it does exist. We might even throw in incentives for the streamers if enough of their viewers sign up. But yeah, Ooh. I would say that about wraps up the boot camp. Yeah, I really like the, um, the incentives that Froden did for his. Anyone who signed up under his name got access to his personal private Discord where they get secret tips. Oh, yeah. Secret tech oh, yeah. that they find. I made like tier lists. I, every time I see something from like China or something like that, I drop tech. I wrote guides for people. I coach some subs. Also, I give I give away some prizes as well. Oh, I didn't know you give away prizes. I yeah. I saw a different streamer. I bribe my viewers. Help. A different streamer offered to help people who sign up under her name find a girlfriend. <laughs> so, <laughs> different, different incentives for different folks. Oh, interesting. I, I that that's a bigger prize than oh, I could ever offer. <laughs> but yeah, I would say. <laughs> Yeah, that about wraps up. That was that was an awesome boot camp. That was last boot camp was already really fun at the watch parties. This was even more intense. It it really came down to the wire. Trading blow it's also way more hype that they traded blows first, 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 first. Like nope neither of them top forward. Setsuko yeah. or YBY. Back to back for three hours straight. The exact opposite of last time. So this is super hype. Cool. It was very super good. Hype. It was very good. I would like to throw say one final thing as well as I think that Yes. Uh, we all collectively should thank Boxbox Box for the amount of effort of him and his whole team, Boxbox, Box, Annie, and everybody else, because uh, it's a lot of work to do something like boot camp, and to do it at the scale that he has, uh, not just not just having thousands of people apply, but a thousand streamers, 
And you guys don't understand, getting streamers to do anything, getting streamers to just try to organize is like an impossible task. So the mm -hmm. fact that he's able to like hoodwink so many streamers, hundreds, if not thousands, to try to be part of it and to create something really cool for the community is really awesome. And I think it's like a really big part of what everyone's looking forward to every set. So I, we're, we're going to say it every single time, but thank you, Boxbox, Box, for organizing it. It's been a really fun event for everyone who participated and watched. Thank you, yeah. Box Box. Thank, oh, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Also, you make people play TFT who are not just TFT players, which is very important. Yeah. Because, yeah, 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 you know, yeah. It's very easy to get TFT players to boot up and go eight, but like to get people who don't play TFT into the category and interested in it is a big deal. We're also talking about like how close like the pro was, but really like every category was like pretty close. Yeah. Like anyone could have yeah. won on the final day. Yeah, it really did come down to like the last hour. But yeah, thanks so much, Froden. And thanks so much, everyone. All I care about is that you guys have fun and that this event in general promotes TFT as a whole, shows how fun it is to get into and start learning. TFT has a stigma of like being a strategy game, like a game for nerds, but like the game is just so much fun. I was originally someone who didn't like strategy games at all, only playing it because it was the adjacent Riot game. And like, I just think it's so cool. I just want to spread the, spread the word, let people know it's a cool game, give it a try. Hopefully people seeing their favorite streamer come from a variety category, give TFT a try and have a good time will inspire a lot of people to give it a try. Yeah, you gotta put away the calculator, well, man. man. Every, every time you reach for the calculator, like a thousand people are like, <laughs> oh no, a nerd, it's a nerd, it's a nerd game. game. <laughs> like, we gotta end the calculator for I the next say, weekend. It's worth noting that someone like Kira has started playing like a few months ago and went like fourth. Really? That's so yeah. impressive. Yeah. Like, it looked like Kira only played one other set. Oh, oh you're, right. you're right. That's kind of that's yeah. wild. So it's but, like, the, mm. there's just a lot of... I feel like this whole thing is very inspirational for people to just like pick up the game because there's so many people who picked up the game and just started doing really well because they were having a lot of fun and just got a lot better. True. Very true. Yippee! If it yeah. looks cool, just try it. It's a fun game. <laughs> All right. But yeah. Awesome. Thank you, everybody, for coming to this watch party. I believe we are all wrapped up. Uh, hopefully, I'll be seeing most of you guys back here for the Sut 12 boot camp. See you in three and a half months. All right. Bye, everybody. Uh, thanks, everybody. Uh, yeah, bye. 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 Thanks bye. for having me. All right, chat. I think that does it for me today. Woo. Man, boot camp is uh, kind of intense. No more TFT to Worlds? Oh, no. On the contrary. This is just the first of many events that we're going to be doing. Uh, if you guys are still around, <clears throat> let me pull up the calendar. If you love watching tournaments, uh, you probably watch my stream. Uh, I can just go ahead and show you guys real quick. The roadmap. We are here. Sub-regional events have started officially. Sub-regional events are qualifiers that get you to the Tactician's Trials. Tactician's Trials are day one and two of cups. If you guys remember KDA Cup and Hearthsteel Cup last set, or Defender Cup, Corrupted Cup, uh, you know, the Noxus Cup, the Frailior Cup, that kind of stuff. They're now branded as Tactician's Trials. They're starting April 20th. That's right, in two weeks, two weekends from now, we're gonna be starting. And then the following weekend, day three of cups, Tactician's Cup 1. And you might be thinking, well, isn't there a snapshot? That's correct. The Cup 1 snapshot is in April 14th. If you haven't taken ladder seriously, if you're like 100 LP and you're like, eh, I'll just run it down to zero, don't. Uh, the Cup 1 snapshot is coming. And they only, and it, you need to sign up. And it only, it, it, it's not the same as it was before. It's going to be taking from LATAM Brazil and uh in north america so it's going to be 500 players combined seas take cups cup one snapshot very seriously if you can no running it down and as you guys know we're going to do a cup snapshot watch party on april 14th so that so definitely pay attention to that these snapshots are for qualifier points so it's for people who want to make regionals just based off snapshots cup one snapshot april 14th is what we pay attention to the 14th the 20th the 26th will be co-streaming um i have some plans to potentially produce it but Tactician's Trials 2 and Tactician's Cup 2 is when my baby is expected to be arriving. Uh, it's around this window. So you must forgive me. I don't know if I can cover Tactician's Trial Cup number two. But I'll be back if I can 
for tactician trial number three um that's gonna be pretty aggressive that's probably gonna be three weeks after my baby's born but uh i'm gonna probably take like a one month break from streaming and maybe maybe do some light youtube uh so the month of may slash early june you're probably not gonna see much of me if you want, if you want to sub somebody else i totally understand but uh, i'm just giving you guys a little layout of it and then after tactics cup three it's two weeks then regionals aka the america's golden spatula and then a week after that's worlds and then that and then set 11's over i know i make it sound like uh it's short time because it is believe it or not we're one patch in but in just a couple of months set 11's done there you go uh a little bit of a calendar walkthrough to help give you guys something to look forward to if you guys just said that i don't i don't really know what you're talking two weeks is when things start to ramp up so between now and the next two weeks real shit's gonna start happening in terms of ladder um and that's when the competitive content really takes up do you have a name for the baby yet not yet not yet actually we do have a name for the baby but we haven't we, we have like two or three and we just don't want to jinx it but that'll be it we'll figure it out when uh, we meet him i feel like i have to meet him first in order to really know but that's just me kabuko yeah i'm naming him kabuko <laughs> speaking of which i played a really fun kabuko game that's probably going to be on youtube um oh as you guys know in two weeks we're also going to be starting the podcast again don't talk if you don't know it's going to be returning uh it'll be me and, and bryce doing all that fun stuff is boxbox playing tft or is he done he might be he might be done Who is streaming the category? We can go ahead and raid somebody for today. I'm gonna raid uh baby guana. He is a guy that was organizing the PB tournament. I just want to thank him for everything he's done. I'll be back, I think, tomorrow to play some of the new patch. We're gonna be studying some stuff. Uh I'm gonna update TFT Academy as well for you guys, so make sure you keep your eyes peeled for that. All right, and with that. Have a good night, everybody. See you next time. The podcast on Spotify? Yes, it is.